Hi guys, Alex here. Welcome back to Shook After Dark for our very special Sunday stream. And I am super excited. We're going to talk today about Foodie Beauty, the aftermath of her boil situation. We have a new video from ALR to actually take a look at that we haven't um, discussed or reacted to at all all. And I will go ahead and leave some timestamps down below for those of you that are watching on the replay. I also kind of want to get to some updates on the eight passengers as well as the escaped prisoner that has been on my mind. We're definitely going to talk about that for sure. It's all that I have been thinking about because he's not that far away. They still haven't got him at least last time I checked a couple of hours ago. This could get interesting. Welcome in everyone. How are you guys doing can we get an asker john can we get an asker sure thing ask her how she's doing and i'd lie i think that i would just lie <laughs> oh we shook the camera we're already shook talk about joe and sophie's divorce who's that i don't even know who that is did um, Kyle, Richards, and Mauricio get divorced or are they just like separated? Because I was watching TV and this commercial came up and it was like, I'm Kyle Richards and I'm Mauricio. We're married. And I was like, wait, are they? They have like some realtor thing, I think. There's an escaped prisoner in London. Really? I didn't know that. My goodness gracious. That salad really filled me up. <laughs> I'd lie and say it's sodium. You got dumped by text. Oh my goodness, Sarah. I'm so sorry. After one and a half years, that guy is not worth your time. Or girl, I'm not sure. Not sure, not sure. Anyways, it's endgame. Oh, your endgame for Mauricio and Kyle. Oh, you hope they make it. Chantal rage today. Goody, goody, gumdrops. Yeah, we're definitely going to talk about that situation that was weighing heavy on my mind as well. Like, ugh, I have lost faith in humanity. I didn't even really know that that was a thing. We'll get to it with, uh, you know, Chantal's latest BS. I'm trying to roll up my sleeves before I get too hot. Do you guys like a good, like, sleeve rolled up moment? Did she really rage? I watched a little bit of it. I didn't think it was like a rage, 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 right? Any talk of Chantal? When is she going home? She's going home like in an hour, right? In an hour. In a day. No? We're in the end game. Are we in the end times, guys? What do we do to deserve to be in this timeline? Is this purgatory? Is this like lost? Do you guys like lost? You know how they were like, well, I don't want to spoil it. Well, it's like 10 years old. Anyways. Eggs. 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 <laughs> Where is home? Kuwait, I guess. Ooh, if you guys noticed, I did. Okay, I said I wasn't going to. I like stopped wearing my nose ring, but I. In like two live streams ago, I said I was done with the nose ring because it was too annoying. And then I decided to put it back in. I didn't have to re-pierce it. I just had to like shove it back in. You know what I mean? With a piercing earring. <laughs> a sharp earring. You know, because the, you know what I mean. And then I put a stud in it. No stud. No stud. We knew Amber wasn't single no more when she magically started losing LBs. Mm-hmm. She's in that phase where she's like working on herself to be better for this new girl. When everyone said that she needed to work on herself for herself, you know, that was like the main topic of a lot of our videos recently that she needed to do this for her and um, get herself together for herself. And that was going to be what would finally make her change. But no, but no, we're doing the same thing again. <clears throat> same thing again so does she expect what does she expect to come from this the new girl's just wifey a couple of people have been saying that that like 
<laughs> the new girl's just wifey. Well, no, I guess not. I don't know. Who knows? It's just wifey. Like, <laughs> she said that she could possibly be on camera, though. Like, she's going to show us the new girl. Um, when they actually, I guess they haven't even met yet, guys, right? They haven't even met. Oh, goodness, she moves fast, doesn't she? They haven't even met, y'all. Just text. Unless it's someone from her past. Some people said it was like, maybe it's Crystal or something. The new girlfriend's Crystal. They did keep in touch, but I don't know. Do you guys remember the Crystal era? Like, they didn't have any chemistry at all. It was like Amber was supposed to be her caretaker. Remember that? I don't know how that worked. <laughs> Not enough candles. Ooh, do you guys want to see my new candle? <laughs> no, there's only one candle. These aren't candles. Well, no, there's two. Only this one and this one are candles. <clears throat> this is my new candle. I just got it today. It's pumpkin spice latte and twisted peppermint all in one. I'm like budget beezing. We're budget beezing, so I only bought one. They're they're uh twelve ninety nine right now, so that's a pretty good price. I only buy them if they're fifteen fifty or lower. The call is coming from inside the house. Why does everyone keep saying that these days? <laughs> that's for Amber, like the binge monster. The call is coming from inside the house. Rain and petals eavesdrop. <laughs> Watching at work. Welcome. What is up with my camera tonight? It keeps wobbling. Is it on something? No. I thought maybe there was something like under it. I don't know what's going on. I think it's because the desk, it's too close to the desk, probably. Speaking of Florida, when are we going on our Key West girl trip? Do you guys want to see? Let's let's visit the hospital that Amber was born. <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> Boring. Can you imagine? I'm live from the hospital that Amber Lorreen was born from. Was born in. <laughs> the call is coming from inside the house. The only ex should be destiny omg that would be such a troll oh yeah if she like made up with destiny and then they decided that they were getting together sean welcome in um you are not late it just started cc wolf thank you for the super chat evening alex girls please do a slow-mo of fb's chin <laughs> we'll definitely take a look at that for sure for sure, for sure, because I just saw it. It was so good. <laughs> Living. Key West babies usually aren't born on the actual key. No, so then where would they be born? So Amber's lying? Are you telling me she's lying? Couldn't be. Couldn't be. Um, Should we do a poll to see what we should react to first? Talking about Chantel... Or react to Emperor Lynn. First on the agenda, folks. Yuck, 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 yuck. Oh, God. Salah's laugh. That is like the worst thing I've ever heard. <laughs> Gemini Christmas. Did you miss anything? No, we just started like five minutes ago. ALR reaction, new video. Or... Chantel's mess and a half. Let me, me, let me. No, I think we're fine. I think we're fine. I think we're fine. I think we're fine. Should I move the camera back? Give me one little teeny tiny second, guys. So this stops wobbling.
Okay, that works. It should stop wobbling now. It was like pressed up against the table. ALR's live stream. We already kind of broke down the whole thing. So I don't know. We're probably not going to look at the live stream again. His laugh inspires people to fake marry. <laughs> fake marry. Girls, girls, girls. We like girls in cars. <laughs> ALR, guys, please. I feel like we can get through the ALR video kind of quickly, you know? It's not going to take, like, too long. She was kind of, like, annoying me recently. We could just kind of get get through it really quickly, quickly. Otherwise, it will be, like, towards the tail end of the live stream. Chantal traveling is a list of what not to do tourist trap edition. We'll definitely get into that. I mean, her ridiculous new video. Ridiculous video was ridiculous. <laughs> I had to do, she made me do some research y'all, but I didn't even know like when it came to the tigers, I didn't know that was a thing. I mean, At least in Thailand. ALR forced. Should we just cut it off and do ALR real quick? <laughs> it's like 51, 49. I did, when I did my poll on my, should I do a live stream or should I do a girl talk? I did that on my community tab. Well, when I did the live stream, it was like 51, 49 live stream. The day after I already did the live stream, it was like Girl Talk was winning. It was like 53, 47. <laughs> I was like, what? <laughs> Y'all, it's already done. It's already done. All right, let's just do ALR. 51. Okay, ALR wins 51 to 49. Let's just do ALR. And then we can talk about Chantal. There's also an update from Hungry Fatty that I think is interesting. We might look at later, later. Towards the tail end. <laughs> but Amber's back on her, like, troll game, y'all. Oh, she's trolling, she's trolling, she's trolling. She's the biggest troll on YouTube. <laughs> okay. Okay. The biggest troll on YouTube. Did I lie? Did I lie? Okay. Mariah Carey. Hmm? Hungry fatty. <laughs> Daddy. She wants to be like... Amber wants Trisha Paytas' attention so bad. It's kind of pathetic. Did you guys notice that during the live stream? Please. As if. I don't even think Trisha's that desperate. I'm desperate. What's with like James Charles? Do you guys follow like the raw beauty Christy James Charles drama or whatever? She like liked his photos and I forget what else she did. But people are claiming that she's supporting James Charles. I think she bought his, like, painted palette or something. I didn't really look too much into it. But I don't even really know her. I don't know her. But I don't know how people can still support him. Like, seriously? The last person that came out was literally 14. Ugh. That's not... Okay. Okay. Trashy Charles. <laughs> You were shocked about Raw Beauty Christie? Yeah, I thought she was, like, pretty respected, right? I mean, what? What? James Charles would like to be uncancelled. <gasps> no. All right, let's get into it. Hi, guys. This is a weird angle, but I'm just trying to get an intro. Hello, hello. Welcome to a new vlog. Okay, so my bed. Okay. There's Amber's bed covered in stuff. Christmas ornaments. It is looking wild right now because I'm just going through so many different things. And right now I'm actually about to go through all of my wonderful, beautiful ornaments. Did you guys notice that she's actually getting rid of everything that's related to Feline? 
Like, if it's related to Feline, it's going. She doesn't even want to keep any of the good memories. I feel like she didn't even do that with, like, Becky, right? Like, she didn't get rid of, like, everything attached to a memory with Becky. What's going on? A lot of people are speculating that, like we said, it's not sunshine and roses. She might expose wifey, y'all. I think I want a Christmas tree. I have two Christmas trees. I have a huge one for the living room and then, like, a super skinny tall one. Okay, ready? That we put in the office last year. Rarity Gray. Which one I want to bring with me because I'm not going to bring both. So I don't know. Um, but I'm going to go through these and see which ones I want to get rid of. If there's any that are attached to memories that I don't want, definitely getting rid of that. Hi, Rarities. She's always so nosy. She's always like, what are you doing, mama? Um, so yeah, I, as you guys can tell, I'm very much, I love whites and reds, silvers for Christmas. It's my favorite decor by far. I am low-key shocked with how many I'm keeping. I'm keep Girl. <laughs> Thank you for the super chat, Linda. I cannot believe FB gave us the blow by blow of her Boyle story. <laughs> Speaking of blow by blow, remember when um Pete's had to blow dry it? Looking fabulous as usual. Thank you, Linda Hickey. Welcome, welcome. Leave it to Amber to do sorting Christmas ornaments in September content. All those. And I'm literally just getting rid of these. I thought I had more I've had had like memories, but See, look, I didn't look, want to keep any that were like deers. Um. Bambi and Feline. Anything attached to Feline, that's it. Like, it makes me sad, but I am, there is one like. Isn't that kind of weird? Like, it's kind of telling me something's going on. White deer right here, which doesn't make me as sad, but. White deer. That just, there's like a rehab, like the government funded rehab in PA that's called White Deer. <sighs> If you're like broke, that's where you go. You go to White Deer. It's called White Deer Run, but <laughs> I'm just going to call it White Deer. If any look like Colleen or Bambi, then I'm not keeping it. I just can't. Why, but girl? I like, what's the skeletons? Is there some skeletons in the closet when it comes to that relationship? Yeah, is wifey still, like, taking care of her? What's going on, like, behind the scenes in that regards? You know what I mean? The pick was from Amber visiting her mom. Which pick? I just went through all of these wax melts. My nose is broken, I swear to you. Right, will Salah blow dry it? I don't know if Salah will blow dry it. I don't think that's what he signed up for. New girlfriend nickname will be Flounder. <laughs> Do you think she'll be upset with, like, the Little Mermaid? <laughs> um, I just started watching The Little Mermaid 2023. It's pretty cute. These are all the ones I'm going to get rid of. And this is just the little bit that I'm going to keep. This took so long, but I just felt super obligated to smell. What is she going to do with all of those wax melts? Just drop them off at the Goodwill? And wh what the hell? Why would you even buy that many? See, that's the problem. Each and every single one and decide <laughs> if I wanted it or not. Okay, so I'm currently... She had to go and smell. What the hell? Why would you buy all of those, girl? And then, like, just a few months ago, she had to, like, save up for weight loss surgery. Remember that? <laughs> the crystals I want to save. Wonder why that baggies. is. I have gotten rid of so many. The crystal conspiracy that she's hooking back up with crystal. Eh. Not really. I don't believe that. Not really. No. It's an interesting conspiracy. She did say, like, we're going to be shocked. We're going to be shocked as if we know this person already. It was either that, that we know this person, or the person is like so beautiful, so hot that we're going to be shocked that they would be with her. I think that's like the vibe she was giving off, right? Cat Girl, thank you for the super. This crystal packing moment feels like a classic ALR troll. I need your opinion, Alex. OMG, so you think like she's showing the crystals because it's crystal. <laughs> but she already said she's not moving to Virginia, you know. It's Libby. Oh my god. Well, she's of age now. <sighs> I used to have a lot of crystals. A lot you guys of are going to be shocked. Um, you guys are going to be absolutely shocked. <laughs> and it seems like I still have a lot, but I've gotten rid of so many. These are just the ones that I love so much 
she seriously need, needs like a revamp on her channel. And I just cannot see myself getting rid of them. They're revamp, girl. Revamp. And they're beautiful. And I like to just feel their energy. And I really love using them as like the core. So we'll see how, how I do it in my new place for sure. Ooh, that's interesting. It's an older woman. It's a man. Hello. I'm actually eating right now. I got a salad. It's just wifey salad. again. <laughs> yeah, she did say it's a girl. Woman. Not girl, girl. <laughs> Not girl, girl. That'd be weird. Um, What's with this? Classic troll Lynn. Of course, she has to show herself eating this salad. Crunch, crunch, crunch. I haven't had a salad in... Uh, it feels like forever. Oh, girl, we know. <laughs> It's Trisha Paytas. Oh my gosh. Yeah, Trisha's leaving Moses for Amberlynn. And then here, it's just like this angel hair shrimp moment. Angel hair shrimp and a salad. So good. How much That's ranch, like a girl? Hint. A hint? What's a hint? A hint of like a Cajun moment? She knows that her audience is absolutely going to love this, right? I love it. I love it. Girly cute. That's slapped. So this is my meal for the day. And if I get hungry later, I'll probably have some olives. I've been really liking just some black olives lately. It's been so good. Okay, guys. So August 7th. Ooh, is this a weigh-in moment? Welcome, Annie. I'm good. How are you? Um, I'm a little nervous for this weigh-in because I am a little swollen. I've been doing a lot of walking, a lot of right. Every word is every other word is moment. Everything's a moment for her. Packing. Was that a moment for That's you? That's how it goes. We have about eight ready, but I'm still eating how I have been. So let's see if I've made any progress. I recently rewatched the five seventy two point four vlog. 510.6 that means i'm still making progress slowly but surely but it is happening hi you guys 510.6 yay yay where is that yay 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 um dana x pete's x a l r a throuple with Dana Pete's and ALR. Yeah, no. <laughs> the next day, I did not want to film because Rarity slept on me last night. What is with our girl? Like I said, she needs a revamp. Let's just get this show on the road, get to Oklahoma. Let's see what's going on. But I feel like, you know, it's possible that not much will change. I mean... We never really see anything of Lexington, so. She slept like right here, so now. It's just gonna be her in the apartment again, right? I'm having really bad allergies. Um, My eyes look really good right now compared to how they looked about an hour ago. So swollen and red, I was like this. Um, Yeah, I know. And I just feel like it's getting just like worse and worse. I saw someone in the comment section say that she's filming Vlogmas right now. <laughs> Uh, she won't be able to pre-record well i mean she could but she'll have to admit that it's pre-recorded because she's moving and i know i should probably take allergy medicine but like i don't like medicine i don't so i don't know no makeup today so let's just not look at me like i did i don't get it like she has no problem eating copious and copious amounts of junk food but one allergy pill that would seriously help her in this moment is just like too far you know one little Zyrtec moment is just too much. It's just too much. Girl. Ship up or shape out. Or no, shape up or ship out. I have makeup on, as you can see. And I was like itching. And, oh my God, I need to go wash my hands. Like, itching I was and itching burning. So bad and I forgot and that I had makeup on. Um, and then I looked down at my fingers and I was like, oh, okay. There's a bunch of mascara and eyeliner on them. So that happened. But yeah. Um, hi. Good morning. I am so tired. So a lot of people are confused because I I did mention in my live stream Miranda that my sleeping schedule 
uh, is fixed. And then I mentioned in a vlog that my sleeping schedule is kind of messed up. So let me explain. Yeah. Is she really going to Oklahoma? That's like the number one most people think she has not. She has said no to a lot of states, but not Oklahoma. So... How my sleeping schedule used to be was so bad. Oh my God, I, the I, sleeping I, schedule. I, you guys have to look, look at me like this. Um, so my sleeping schedule was really, really bad. I can't with her in the sleeping schedule. It's like, it's good that it's messed up. Then it's good. I mean, that's life, but it just feels like a talking point in every single vlog. Um, I was waking up at like 4 p.m. And I wasn't going to sleep until like 8 a.m. And now, no matter what, I have my alarm set for 9.30 a.m. No wonder. I mean, anybody would be depressed if they go to bed at 8 a.m. and wake up at 4 p.m. Are you kidding? It's really, really big for me. So every single day, it's so I would big. Say for the last like maybe like two weeks, I have been waking up Yay. at 9:30 a.m. Yay! And no matter what time I go to bed, I thought this was this is like hilarious. <laughs> She's so proud of herself as a 33 year old woman waking up at 9:30 in the morning, y'all. There's a time I am waking up and. Right, she'll take Delta, but no Zyrtec, no Benadryl. <laughs> I'm normally going to bed around like 2 a.m. So Big? I don't know. I guess maybe 2 a.m. to 9.30 a.m. isn't that bad. But for some reason, my body is just not used to it yet. So I'm like staying super tired. Um, but anyways, so I'm, I'm going to stop talking now. I'm going to go take this makeup off my fingers. I'm not really enjoying um, being on camera right now. But I know that like, hi, this is my job. Regardless if I have an allergic reaction happening right now. I just feel super cringe and embarrassed. Mm-hmm. Okay, guys, so I'm about to move this massive bookshelf. Um, you guys are sitting. I can't. Like, I just can't. <laughs> when do you guys wake up? <clears throat> I usually wake up at like 8, 7 or 8. It just depends on what I have to do that day. You know what I mean? I used to wake up at 4 a.m. Yeah, I would work at 5. I used to have a job that was 5 to 1. And so I would wake up at four in the morning. Once you get used to it, it's not that bad because you just go to bed early. You know? You guys are going for a ride here. Ew, I remember like high school, you had to wake up so early, like 5.50. I had to wake up at like 5.50 for high school. But, um... Yeah, sometimes I'll wake up like really early, like four o'clock in the morning and I can't go back to sleep. It's that insomnia. I don't know what's wrong with me. Like my body doesn't want to sleep lately. Um, When I was growing up, I would sleep all the time. I would sleep like a baby. I would sleep right after school and just sleep till the next freaking day because I was so tired. Um recently like if i don't have to work or anything like i could sleep until 12 noon but right now these past couple of months i wake up like at 4 4 a.m and i can't go back to sleep i can't sleep like the whole night just like good anymore i don't know what the heck is wrong with me i would like to just sleep but i can't <clears throat> will you fall it sucks. <laughs> oh my god, it hurts. I'm so quirky. <laughs> but I mean, my sleep schedule is not messed up. I go to bed at like 12. More so 1. I go to bed at like one uh, thirty, And then I wake up at like one thirty to 7.30. Or 8.30. Or I wake up at like 4 o'clock in the morning. Which is like 3 hours later. And not want to go back to sleep. I just don't get it. Put you guys up here. Hi. When the seasons change. When the seasons change, my love. You guys like that one? Okay. I like that one. So how y'all doing? How y'all doing? I need, how y'all doing? Um, some support during this time. So what I'm doing is I'm actually getting rid of this and I'm putting it in the Goodwill pile, which Oh my god, you guys, I am getting rid of so much stuff. It's insane. Oh, you guys exercise? Are you exercise before bed? I feel like I have to take a shower after I exercise. I've been exercising in the morning. 
I don't nap. No, I never nap. Um, I've been exercising in the morning, you guys, for like 30 whole minutes of cardio on the bike. <laughs> I was like dripping in sweat yesterday. I also did it today, but only for 15 minutes. I don't know. It was just kind of hard. <laughs> the resistance. I cranked up the resistance. No. I actually just had to, I just wanted to get going. I woke up a little late. Yeah, I just don't need a lot of this stuff. So, all right. We have made it to the kitchen. Warm milk. And then I'm going to put it in the uh, living room. So I'll see you guys in a second. All right. Toodaloo, folks. All right. So the bookshelf is in here with tons of other stuff. <laughs> right. Is she scraping up the floors? But with I did that. it. Okay, guys, so this is going to be the first wall. Have you guys seen that? That's like Amber's favorite movie, A Simple Favor. She always mentions it. It's like she has to talk about it. Core that I take down. Never seen it. Never oh. seen it. This is, is it on a, Is it on a streaming service? I use those like sticky thingies. These little like Velcro moments that are on here. Do they come See? off? Oh, yeah. <laughs> That was sad. Okay. But I know it has to happen. And here's another one I'm going to take down. So she must be moving pretty soon, right? I mean, she refuses to tell us when exactly. Yeah, Annie. Nobody knows. Nobody really knows when she's moving. But it feels like it's coming up really soon because she's even taking the stuff off of the wall now. Oh, Miley Cyrus. Miley Cypress. I'm definitely keeping those and I have to decide where are they gonna go in my new apartment so these oh I like her song used to be young I know I used to be crazy that's cuz I used to be young these guys good I don't song. know good See, song I don't know if I'm actually gonna keep these girl she's gonna like ruin the wall it. those things can take the paint right off and then They're over really here good. We have this, which I'm probably not keeping. So I want to show you guys the meal. That looks like The Last of Us. Like it has some sort of, <laughs> some sort of infection. Flowers growing out of your body. Andy Ward, thank you for the super chat. Uh, theory, allergies will excuse her not taking the cats. Oh my goodness. I don't see her leaving the cats behind. I don't see her pulling a foodie beauty like that. Um... But I guess time will tell, right? That would be the backlash, though, if she pulled a foodie beauty and dumped her cats. I got from the Cheesecake Factory, so this is supposed to be a kid portion of just... Oh, you mean what she ate just minutes ago wasn't the Cheesecake Factory? This is the Cheesecake Factory? It's supposed to be a kid's portion? pasta. What?! Buttered pasta? Who in their right mind goes and orders from a restaurant the kids menu buttered pasta? You couldn't make that at home? They sell those in boxes at the grocery store, dude. I was expecting like a small portion, but that is a lot bigger than I was expecting. I just wanted that. Buttered bow ties. Like, really? Are you five years old? That's what you give to like picky kids that won't eat anything else aside because my main thing I oh, got a cheeseburger a veggie burger which is made with brown rice oh it's a veggie burger it's trisha's order it's giving trisha paytas isn't it she has to be like that too chicken nuggets no sauce i think that amber got the whole dry girl thing from trisha because trisha was always known to not get sauce did you guys know that <laughs> And now Amber is known as someone who just doesn't get sauce. Mushroom, tons of other veggies. And there's avocado on there. There's cucumber, lettuce. Oh my God, it looks so freaking good. Like, doesn't that look great? And it does come with tomato, but I requested that they take it off. Thank God. So I haven't had to... Girl, I mean, did she even have to like say that? She's eating both. Well, there's no French fries. And this is her one meal a day. Like, that's it. Who pays for a veggie burger? Not me. I'm getting a full fat burger. 
You know what I'm saying? I'm getting that burger burger. Cheesecake factory in forever. That cow. Oh, veggie burger. <laughs> so let's try it together. Oh, that slaps. Super messy though. Oh yeah, and there's onion on there. I always need raw onion on like a sandwich or a burger. Okay. You guys she has to show us the bites. Do you guys want to look at slow-mo bites? So let's try it together. Girl. Oh. She's using. Flaps. Super messy though. Oh yeah, and there's onion on there. Mm -hmm. I always need raw onion on like a sandwich or a burger. Okay, you guys, so it's been... Should we just watch her like this? It's kind of funny. A few hours. Um... <laughs> it honestly doesn't sound that much different than she usually does. Since I talked about my eye and... I don't know if it's getting better. I really hope so okay. because... <laughs> LOL. Her eye. Wait, is this just because Rarity was like sitting on her? I want to live stream tomorrow. And I'm not going to live stream if I'm looking like this. Does she mean that she's going to live stream? Well, I guess... Is she... T was this filmed? <laughs> like, hold on. So she did a live stream two days ago. So is this the live stream she's talking about? Like she already did it. Or does she mean she wanted to do one today? I feel like this is pre-recorded and she's talking about the live stream that she already did, right? Eh, I don't know. I'm kind of living for the live streams because she can't um, keep her mouth closed. Like she's loose lips Lynn. She lets out her little secrets during the live streams. And during her carefully curated vlogs, she doesn't. Uh, it's just not happening. And I'm not going to be putting on no makeup if my eyes like this, because that's just counterproductive in my opinion. But I do want to end this vlog. Um, I told you guys that I really want to work on not doing eight minute vlogs, but doing 10 minute vlogs. And I have reached that. Girl, let's get the 12 minute vlogs. Come on, you can do it. She could have sat down and talked a little bit more about how her diet's going, you know? So we're gonna do What's some- What's the tea? I mean, come on. 10 minute vlogs for the next few times and then- What's wrong with her? <laughs> the cat like laid on her face, I guess. Oh. Who knows? I might move up to 11 She's minutes. Faded. Um, I'm just trying to do my job. Well, also, I am so... <sighs> there's a lot of hidden stresses right now that I'm faded, going through. Lynn. And then there's obvious ones. I'm going through so much right now, you guys. Please bear with me, but I'm not going to tell you what it is. Okay? Okay. <laughs> I don't have to write it out for you guys. It's pretty... What's that? What is she talking about there? Through. And then there's obvious ones... I don't have to write it out for you guys. It's pretty. Does she just mean her weight? Like there's obvious things she's going through. She doesn't have to write it out for us. Whatever that means. Uh, spell it out for us. Is that what you mean, girl? Obvious. But anyways, I hope that you guys did enjoy this vlog and I'll see you in the next one. Bye. Is that her weight? Is that what she means by that? I guess. Cat girl. Thank you for the super chat. Are we going to address the date issue? What's the date issue? I'm not sure what that is. Mm -mm 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 -mm. And hey, Helena Lifts, thank you for being a member for three months. Hi, Alex. I'm five days post WLS. Thanks for the live. Oh, that this is pre recorded. Thank you, Helena. And um, oh my goodness, you're five days post WLS. Sorry, I didn't even like let that sink in. Oh my goodness. Congrats, girly. I hope everything's going good for you. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. So Amber said like August 7th in the vlog. I don't think she, she just meant September. I really don't think it. she said it was August 7th. Or I really don't think it's actually August 7th because because of the live stream, you know? So, 
as much as I would like to speculate, it's just, um, it lines up that that would be like the real date would be September 7th. Right. And then the live stream was on Friday. Right. Was the live stream on Friday? Yeah. So the live stream was on Friday. I just don't like it. And then she posted this or she recorded this on the 7th. She said she wanted to do a live stream the next day and she did. So because of that, I don't think um, it's recorded in August. I think she just misspoke. But there's also the possibility that she said that just because she knows that people are going to speculate and she kind of needs people to speculate right now. Because the views are down, the interest is down, the intrigue is down. Um, so she needs people to speculate. I mean, that's kind of what she thrives on. That's what she lives on. That's what she lives for. Um, Amber's new girlfriend is Nina, Crystal's ex. Who's Nina? Where'd she come from? I didn't really watch the Crystal era very much. And where did Nina, where's Nina now? Like, how do you know it's Nina? She's dating Nina unrated. <laughs> LOL. Oh, we really messed up our camera by moving it. I guess it doesn't matter that much. Like we're all the way over here. Hold on. Let me like move it. Is that right? No. No. Shh. I said shh. What if it is, Krista? Nina is also Becky's ex. Becky's ex that cheated on her like five times. Good choice, Amber. <laughs> Didn't she already cheat on her? Right. So what do you guys think when she was with wifey? you know, the finger lens situation. She was already talking to this girl and did they make it official and she cheated on her? Cause Amber literally said in the same vlog that she, or in the same live stream that she is super loyal. Right. And when she said that, I couldn't help but think about like Becky and how she threw her under the bus so fast after the breakup that's not loyalty. It doesn't have to do with just sleeping with people. Loyalty is much more than that, right? Right? Finger blast. Oh, my God. It's some random Tinder stud. You think so? Nina. I don't know who this Nina woman is. It's not Pink Sparkles. Pink Sparkles. Does she have a man right now? I know that uh, Pink, or what's her name? Sam. Pink Sam. She has had many men over the years on her channel. Not like too many, but... I'm pretty sure she has a man right now. Annie, thank you for the super chat. Alex, did we talk about the Tiger video with Salah and Chantal? Just wondering if I missed it. No, we did not get there yet. We are pretty much going to get into that next. And we just finished watching Amber's video and that's pretty much all that we looked at so far. Thank you, Annie. Nina from the fish girl video. Oh my gosh. Yeah. She's dating pink fairy. Becky broke up with Nina, got with Amber and then Nina and Crystal started dating. Really? That's kind of crazy that these girls, like, isn't the lesbian dating pool a little bigger than that? Like, they're swapping. It's like wife swap. <laughs> you know what I mean? Let's just play ring around the rosy or, like, they're giving, um, everybody put their watches in a bowl and pick a watch. Do you guys ever see that? Like, a swingers party? All the men put their watches in a bowl and then the woman will come up and pluck out a watch that's who she's with for the night you know what i'm saying she's polly uh-oh <laughs>
<laughs> Marty's the new wifey. Oh my god. Amber Crystal and friend group. Oh, really? There's like an infographic showing like the relations between these women. Because it's like Destiny, Dana, Amber was with Destiny, Becky over here, Crystal, Nina. Amber was with Nina. Crystal was with Nina. Becky was with Nina. <laughs> Destiny was with Becky for one night. Just kidding. <laughs> Upside down pineapple. Right. All right. You guys want to talk about the foodie beauty controversy situation? <clears throat> this is really not good. Uh, trigger warning. I'm being dehumanized. Uh, trigger warning. <laughs> So we're not even, we probably shouldn't even look at the video. I don't even really want to look at the video. Do you guys? Let's just look at the thumbnail, right? So I didn't know what to think when I saw this new video from Foodie on her couples channel. I honestly just thought, oh, here she goes. She's at another zoo. Like what's going on? Oh, she's at another zoo. Like, geez, this woman sure does love to look at animals in captivity. But no, it was actually much worse than that. Here is the video in question. Couples vlog petting tigers at Tiger Park in Pattaya. And that is, of course, Thailand. They're still in Thailand. Yesterday, she came on and revealed that she was... Yeah, we're not looking at it, guys. We're just going to show the thumbnail. Um, she had a uh, boil the size of China, but this is before the boil, I guess. Honestly, she probably had the boil while she was doing this, which what if they smelled like the boil and like... <sighs> LOL. She was like grabbing the tail. It was so weird, but I didn't know that this was something that goes on. But it is actually a really big problem in Thailand. So I looked it up like tigers in Thailand, like these selfies, tiger selfies in Thailand, in Thailand. And this is this whole business that goes on. Now these tigers are mistreated pretty much a hundred percent of the time. Like I couldn't find Chantal swears that this park is different, but I highly, highly, highly doubt that there was allegations of like a lighter being held under the nose of the tiger. So that it would like sit up for the selfie or they would like prod it. It was all about getting the perfect selfie. And these tigers were mistreated just for a fucking selfie. Like, it just is disgusting. And of course, like, they would charge, like, $30 to get in. It was not cheap. It was not cheap. The tigers were in small enclosures. And this has happened. It has persisted for many years in Thailand. And it just continues to go on. Many people were talking about how, like, this is just not normal. If you see a tiger IRL, it will attack you, obviously, like right away without. And Chantal wants to say that, you know, they grew up with humans, so they're fine. Like, they're not on drugs because a lot of the times these tigers, these tigers are sedated, right? And just remember, remember Tiger King or, yeah, the Netflix thing? That tiger was raised by humans, but it still, after so many years, lunged at and there, lunged at somebody and bit them and took their whole arm off. So it would be such a liability if they weren't drugged. Like something could happen at any time. They're unpredictable. They're wild animals and they should be in the wild. Like they're not cats. Chantal wants to like compare them to cats. No, like they're not bred to live in somebody's house and eat cat food. It's so different. So different. But our favorite animal abuser, of course, she would support something like this and try to cover it up. And here's what she had to say on her on her video in the comment section. Um not all animals in captivity are abused. There is no proof or evidence that the tigers are sedated. Only one was asleep. 
Girl, they were. They were. Tigers need to sleep 18 hours a day, blah, blah, blah. Tigers raised in captivity are not aggressive, not not as aggressive as wild ones. Yeah, maybe not as aggressive as wild ones. But like I said, the tiger show on Netflix, after so many years, it still snapped. And that does happen. And they're unpredictable and anything could happen at any time. There's no way that this could continue and that they wouldn't hurt somebody, especially you grabbing his tail. She had his tail in her hand. They would have bit her. They were sedated, period. I don't believe her. And don't need to hunt as they are well fed every day, blah, blah, blah. At 252, there's a happy tiger rolling around. Just some facts before you judge. Girl, I don't understand why she feels the need to defend this so much. Like, she is really dumb. So I can understand her going to this thing and not even understanding just because she's that dumb. But all the facts were laid out for her. There's so many articles exposing this that she can look at on the internet. Why would she choose to remain ignorant and even go as far as to defend, defend that this is going on? It just doesn't even make sense. It's annoying how she doubles down. Right. Like all of this shoved in her face and yet she still wants to defend this like tiger abuse company. Like what? For like a freaking selfie. I don't get it. I really don't get it. I guess she can just never be wrong. She can never be wrong. And that's what it is. And she'll keep the video up because she thinks that she took a lot of time and effort to do it. She didn't. She didn't. She just threw a few clips together. We know how it goes with her vlogs. But she's going to keep the video up. And that is that. She will continue to defend it because she can't be wrong. Right. Why not say, wow, I had no idea. <laughs> wow, I had no idea. For real, though. For some reason, she continues to double down, defend the company as if it's her and Salah's company almost. Like, what in the world? So, let's go ahead and take a look at this clip from her latest live stream on the Piggy channel. And then, does this have the chin pop out? After we take a look at this, we'll take a look at her chin pop out if it's not included in this one. Or, you know what? Let's look at the chin pop out right now <laughs> as like a little palate cleanser because I just can't with the animal abuse. Like she, what is wrong with this woman? They don't call her beauty beauty animal abuser for nothing, do they? Is this going to show up good? All right. Let's take a look at this. To The boil was karma. I think so, right? Here's a short from Just Saiyan. And this is her hijab malfunction. I'm living for this clip just to break up the yuckiness. Yuck, 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 yuck. Oh. No, wait, <laughs> wait. <gasps> <laughs> no way, wait, no way. I love that. God, babe, my whole chin just fell out. <laughs> Which one? Oh, should we watch the lady fat shaming her again? <laughs> I can't help it. Oh no, you guys. Do not clip that. I will hurt you. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> Let's watch it one more time. Oh, oh. That's crazy, dude. <laughs> She's literally like... I don't think that that's like normal. Did Amy's Life Journey do that? I think Amy's Life Journey did that too, but... 
that's her face. Like, you don't have to cover that. Yeah, showing your chin is not hot. Um, yeah, she doesn't have to cover that. She's covering it because she's ashamed of it. As much as she wants to come on here and tout like body positivity, I'm not ashamed of my body. You don't have to cover that chin. Like that's not part of your religion right there. That's because you're insecure, period, point blank. <laughs> All right, let's go to Piggy. This clip is called Foodie Beauty Defense Seeing Tigers in Captivity. Do you also want to watch the boil one? We already talked about it, but <laughs> so much happening. Kind of. It's like nothing but a lot at the same time. Amy's life journey and her spoons. Do you guys know the Amy's life journey spoons? Scary stuff. Scary stuff. Which chin is which? Mine and go take a hike in the freaking fountain. <laughs> <laughs> Hi. Oh, obviously a lot. I think it was Yaba. She said, um, Salah is ruining her channel. Nobody wants to see Salah. That's what's wrong with the Thailand trip. It could be interesting if it was just her, like, eating Thailand food on the floor, Taiwanese food on the floor. <laughs> it's too much Salah. We don't want to see Salah. I'm trying to get like in the right part of the frame. Okay. No, go here and then move it over. Okay. Yeah, it's too much Salah. We don't need him. We don't want him. We don't need him. And you can remove him. Thank you. A lot of it is just false outrage. A lot of it is just people like... It's not false outrage, girl. Read an article. It takes like five minutes. You know, I don't know. There was a lot of comments just like... Um, it's really false outrage. Like really? Using the tigers. Like, it was just stupid nonsense. You're supporting it. I mean, you're the reason it continues. Stupid tourists i.e. people like you, hun. You know, I understand people being concerned about animal welfare and captivity, but, you know, just like, okay, so there's... Why can't she just say she didn't know? I mean, I didn't know until I read about it, and it was, it was horrifying. It was absolutely horrifying. A lot of animals that are in ca captivity, that are raised in captivity, so they're do more docile. It doesn't mean that they're being abused. Like, some places, yeah, they're, like, probably not... As it's not like that. It, it's not to the point... Where you can just have random strangers petting a tiger. That's not normal. That doesn't happen. Even if they're raised in captivity from day one, it doesn't happen. It's good, you know, but we didn't see anything particularly about the tiger park specifically. There's like some tiger zoos we saw some controversial things about, but um, to us, like they looked well fed. You don't think they're not doing the exact same practices, girl? Of course, um, after all these places were exposed, of course they're going to try their best to hide this shit. Doesn't mean it's not happening. They looked happy, like, like, like you know, like the owners, were, like the um, trainers, ne we never seen them whip them. They didn't even poke them, really. Like, you saw them poke the paws once in our video. We right, yeah, so that's what they do in front of the customers. Imagine what they do behind the scenes. They're not going to freaking whip them in front of the customers one tiger sleeping and the tigers need to sleep 18 hours a day so you know like <laughs> i don't know so not all animals in like there's also some that are for conservatorship or whatever you know conservation conservatorship <laughs> i don't think conservatorship is the right word yeah conservation eileen thank you for being a member for 10 months why can't we just admire tigers from a distance I love a good tiger moment. <laughs> no kidding. <laughs> Thank you, Ailey. Yeah. I like pictures of tigers or like the videos of the tigers like fighting planet Earth style. Um, right. People had like tigers as pets. Like you can't. No, 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 no. That's so dangerous. And they're not happy. Yeah, it is false outrage. Anything to do with me is a big deal. Okay, people need drama for money. People need drama to feed their to feed their kids. Kids. People need drama to put their kids. I love that. Let's, who's feeding their kids? 
big deal, okay? People need With drama this. for money. People need drama to feed their kids. People need... You guys, I need super chats to feed my kids. I'm going to put their kids through college. That's all it is, you know? Like... I need to pump out more foodie booty reactions so I can feed my kids. <laughs> LOL. Um, I can understand being, like, concerned about the welfare of animals. So are we. Like, like for example... If if you were so concerned, how could you read these articles and just have no issue with it? You either didn't read them or you just don't fucking care. Just you you don't give a fuck. Thailand, there's also a lot of elephant tourism. OK, some places you can ride them. Some places are less. And I'm sure they're treated great. Probably not. Then the ones that are like for conservation, the ones that are actual sanctuary. It's. How is that? That's not a sanctuary. The selfie park, girl. That's so tourists can take a selfie. That's all it is. It's not conservation. It's not a sanctuary. They don't have like this huge, they have these small ass little cages. Yeah, like, you know, you there's elephants here. You can go and visit them, do things with them. Same, same idea. You know? Like the size of a human bedroom. They need more room than that. The elephants, the uh, tigers looked happy like they didn't look i don't know the one was a witch <laughs> she's literally lying to herself they looked they looked happy and alert and i don't know maybe they looked a bit annoyed but i don't know some of them looked happy how did they look when you were yanking on the tail how about that they don't have to some of them looked happy defend it well right she doesn't have to, like why why I mean, not soon. There's no evidence of them being harmed or abused. People are just speculating that they're drugged. How do you know? There's no proof. You know? You didn't see this happening at all the other ones, girl. This one is magically just so much better, I'm sure. I'm sure it's just so much better, the practices at that one. These tigers are raised in captivity, and they say... They just learned how to hide their shit better because all this stuff got put out there. That's exactly what it is. They help the tiger. Some places do. Some places don't. Some places do. If you don't have evidence and you don't have proof, why accuse it? And why with the false outrage right off the bat? Oh, she's an animal abuser. Like some people are legit <laughs> using defamatory con comments like she abuses tigers. Who said that? I mean, <laughs> you neglected a cat, two cats. It's not really that big of a stretch. Did she um, abuse a tiger? No, I mean, come on. <laughs> but um, yeah, she did neglect two cats. Loose Meat Supreme, thank you for the super chat. So you can feed your kids, Alex. Thank you. I will definitely use that for Starbucks. I mean, to feed my kids. <laughs> like, dude, like... Yeah, defamation. Are you going to come after us, girl? I'm sure that'll hold up in court when we get the um, FFG's papers. You know, all it would take is FFG providing her papers, which are already out there on the Internet, of a vet backing up that this cat had to be rescued. That's how bad it was. Case thrown out. I can sue you for that. That's defamatory. I'm not going to bother with your butt, but like that's defamatory. Even a house cat can bite. Yeah. You know, you don't know for sure. You don't know. A Google. <laughs> Even a house cat can bite. Well, yeah. But what does that have to do with the tiger? Like they're so different. They're so different. Thousands of years of domestication versus a wild animal. How you can't even make that comparison. Of course, if you annoy a cat, it's going to bite you, but you're not going to die. Rosie, thank you for being a member for 10 months. Remember when she said she studied for the LSAT? She studied for the LSAT? Oh, isn't that like the lawyer one? <laughs> I vaguely remember that, but I forget all that shit. It's been a while since I've been in high school. I did take my SAT. I believe I got like on the two, um, 1200 or something. I don't know. 
surge. No, there's nothing about the Tiger Park we went to that said anything bad about, you know, we saw the people interacting with them very nicely and the, the tigers seemed happy and playful. There was one large tiger who was rolled on his back like this and like, you know, <laughs> you shouldn't rolled on his back, girl supporting animals in captivity so nobody has ever gone to a zoo nobody's ever gone like why am i the only one getting crap for this hi creepy i don't have a problem with animals in captivity if they're no one's ever gone to a zoo i mean that seems a lot the things i read about these tiger parks sounds a lot worse than any zoo in america treated right and if they're not abused and if there's nothing you know what i mean there's nothing really wrong plus i really really wanted to be close to a tiger i think they're amazing creatures, <laughs> you know, I wanted to give them some love, I don't know. They comment about my religion. Meanwhile, one streamer is a supposedly Jewish, doesn't uh, do Shabbos or doesn't do anything else, but I'm the only one, right? I have to be a perfect Muslim. Like, You're the one that comes on here and projects that, that you're this completely changed woman. <laughs> and you're a modest Muslim queen. I don't see anyone else like coming on here and like really talking about their religion. I mean, that can be really personal. That can be really personal. You're the one that puts that out there for public consumption. Get a life. Please go travel. Please show yourselves and then judge people. All right. At least go on camera. <laughs> there are disgusting people still wishing me to cam up, cam up. <laughs> oh, this is a good one. All right. At least go on camera. <laughs> she did rage, huh? Didn't she just say like a couple of days ago she was never going to rage again? That was it. You know what happened? I was right. I was right. <laughs> it wasn't that astute of an observation, but I said like when she's on vacation, she's running around with Salah, it's easy for her to just like ignore this shit, move on with her life, whatever. But now that she's been, she left that boil fester and now she's festering in the hotel room. She has time to scroll and look at all this bullshit day in, day out. And that's what's going on. So when she goes back to Kuwait, expect there to be rages all the time the only reason there wasn't is because she was out and about with salah but now that she's out of commission for pretty much the rest of the trip she claims that she's going to go out more i don't really see that happening i really don't see that happening i think that this is it she'll be stuck at that hotel for the remainder of the trip i don't think there's even that many days left but just think about that boil guys should we watch the boil one and talk about the boil yeah let's do that when this one's over. People still wishing me to go back to that lifestyle of being. I'll save my boil talk for the next video. Jewish doesn't uh, do Shabbos or doesn't do anything else, but I'm the only one, right? I have to be a perfect Muslim. Like, get a life. Please go travel. <laughs> please show yourselves and then judge people. All right. At least go on camera. <laughs> there are disgusting people still wishing me to go back to that lifestyle of being drugged and uh, abused and just whatever. Like, I, I can't even bother with these people anymore. Like, it's being abused oh my stuff. goodness, like, like the Natter saga. Um, you know, but doesn't mean just because they're in captivity that they're like automatically abused. And it's not my fault. <laughs> like, you know, I don't know. They were, they looked well fed and they looked happy. I only saw one tiger sleeping. Um, one came right up to us in a playful way. I think the biggest problem here is her inability to admit that, yeah, there's probably some bullshit going on there. I don't understand why she continues to just double down, defend this as if it's her company or something it's crazy it's you weird video. you know i don't know the owners like not the owners the trainers or whoever were even talking to them like oh you sweet girl like that <laughs> yeah being drugged um she was not drugged like she was happy to pick up a pipe off <laughs> let's use code words she was happy to pick something off of the floor stick it in her mouth and the rest is history. She was happy to roll up a dollar bill, a used dollar bill, and go to town on a line of snow, fleece as white as snow. No, girl. No, girl. Nobody was forcing you to do that. And you took, she could have had like so much money saved up by now, but all that money went right up her nose every last dime well and to natter as well she could have had such a good nest egg that she wouldn't have to worry about her views being so low now but it all went to natter i'm sure she regrets that i'm sure that's like one of her biggest regrets right now kind of thing so we got we just had a good vibe from it we didn't get like a bad vibe i don't know 
Are Christians not supposed to? Your fishy fish. My fishy fish, fishy fish. Thank you. We're having dinner, guys. Have dinner with us. Of course, she has to send Salah out for the food. She put the green... Not the green... Those mozzarella sticks. Favorite meal to cook? Ordering out. No. Uh this is all she's going to do for the rest of the trip. Sit in this apartment. Maybe she'll live stream. I mean hotel. Sit in this hotel. Maybe she'll live stream. And she's just going to sit there and eat and scroll on her phone. Just as if she was in Kuwait or Canada or wherever. I'm, I'm always having to adjust this. Sorry, guys. Oops. That's it, guys. Thailand is over. That's your face, girl. Like, that's your face. That's your face. So anyway, that's all I want to say about it. Obviously, I hope the tigers are being treated well. They're not. Stop uh, lying to yourself. And your audience. No one told the tiger what to do while we're there. They just let us interact, and that was it. Mm. What about winning a house cat? <laughs> I'm sure that they decided to sit on that table and pose for pictures of their own vo volition, girl. Mm. Mm -mm. I mean, yeah, tigers are wild animals, but if they're raised in captivity, no, they're not. They're, they still are, but less. Even cats. Like Does she even pay attention in like 10th grade science class? Come on. Or what's the one where you learn about animals? Like 4th grade science? 5th grade science? If you see them, they like to look up the window all day because they want to be out and, you know, they want to be outside. Okay. They were well fed, yeah. And cats sleep all day long. Didn't she take the field trip to the Ottawa Zoo? They're nocturnal creatures. Shara, we missed the food in Kuwait, the halal food. Oh my gosh. Yeah, she's upset because she can't get Burger King. Because it's um, haram. Or no, it's not halal in Kuwait. Is that like halal's the opposite of haram, right? Halal, good. Haram, bad. Amberlynn makes me moist. Girl. Who is that? Jif? Like the peanut butter? <laughs> Let's talk about the boil, guys. Let's talk about the boil. Foodie beauty tiger expert. So it's probably morning where you go. Maybe someday. And what is with her, like, and Salah? They've been to so many questionable zoos, right? There's a lot of zoos that take in, like, animals that wouldn't survive in the wild because of some sort of injury or something like that. They were, like, always in captivity. Maybe they were mistreated previously. But the places that they have gone to have just seemed so shady and, like, not good. Not good. Disney Cruise, Lindsay. Even in Kuwait, right? Like that pet store. There was too many um, animals in that pet store in such a small space. Girl, what the hell? Wait, I want to go to her real, um, her actual live stream. Anyways, that was Piggy's video kind of breaking down Chantal defending the tigers in captivity. The kitty cat, kitty cafe was okay. Yeah, I think that some of the cats in the kitty cafe were actually rescues. They didn't really have anywhere to go. So they were at the kitty cafe. Okay. We got some trolls. <laughs> Welcome, Angry. How are you doing? I just want to see more of her eating that burger. I don't know why. There's something wrong with me. <laughs> when does she get the burger? When does she get the burger? <laughs> literally, literally. Haram is like sin. Oh, uh, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sinning and haram. 
I feel like I live a very sinful life. Okay. Listen to that. Like, it's kind of sad in there. She's, what kind of hotel is this? You know that she is doing everything she can to make sure that people don't figure out where she is because all we see is the curtain. Either that or she just doesn't want people to see how messy it is. What do you guys think? It could go either way. I remember there was a woman named Keffels. <laughs> you guys know Keffels? And she was like doxxed everywhere. Um, everywhere she goes, everywhere she went, it would be doxxed. Right. And she was staying at a hotel. And they doxxed her because of the pattern on the pillow at the hotel. Isn't that crazy? Croatia, Greece, Italy, Sicily, Corsica, and France. Let's slow her down, slow her down. Oh, yeah, she doesn't want people to see the twin beds. <laughs> or the two queens. They got two queens. Look at her looking to the side. What is with that? Whenever she takes a bite, is Salah judging me? Look, look, look. It's almost like she feels like she's doing something wrong. Look how tiny, how tiny the burger looks. I don't think it's tiny. I think it's like regular. Sounds amazing. Not that great service over there, huh? Okay, just live there on my flight. Oh, you mean the States? I forget. <laughs> Did you guys see there's like a troll? There's a troll in her chat called Travanda Williams, I think. And they have a picture of Michelle Obama. And Chantal talks to them as if they're the old Travanda. And they're clearly just a troll. Like, Travanda was someone who supported Chantal, gosh knows why, for a pretty long time. But I believe she dipped in the middle of the Natter saga. And now Chantal, like, treats this troll as if it's the real Travanda. <laughs> it's so bizarre. She's Amelia Farn. What happened to the burger? What happened to the burger? What happened here? Because I want to hold my hijab in place. Like <laughs> Salah's hat? Thumbnail woohoo. But maybe it will hold my slipping hijab. Girl, I can't. Wait, what happened to the cheeseburger? Hold on. I'll fed, yeah. That's how they, st part of the reason they stay calm chew. <laughs> I don't know. That shit is horrifying. And cats sleep all day long. We're going to move on to the boil. Humor me for a second. Is she going to look to the side the again? Nocturnal creature. Look, and she did it again. She does it for every single bite. All day long. The. Ooh. What is that about? Is she worried that Salah's judging her? Of course he's judging her. Of course he's judging her. All right, so let's talk about the boil. Or no, let's first let's watch the fat shaming clip. <laughs> mm, I can't. What do you guys think about this? Quote unquote fat shaming. Everybody saw this coming. Everybody saw this coming. 
the best to last. Thank you for being a member for two months. Sorry, I missed the Amber part, but can I get an eggs? Of course. Of course. Thank you. Eggs. Eggs. Yes. <laughs> she came. How much is it? 50 baht. 50 baht? Okay. Wow. Hi. Wow. <laughs> Thank you. She's so you sweet. Have baby. No. You eat Just food. You have a baby? Food, yeah. Oh. <laughs> you eat too much. Too much, eh? yeah. But the food in Thailand is yummy. Yeah, yeah. Thailand really good, eh? <laughs> Hi, sweetheart. Oh. There you go. I can't with her like petting the baby. It's so weird. As if that's someone holding like a chihuahua. She called the lady a lady boy? Really? Nah. -uh. All right, so we're going to talk about the boil. Foodie Beauty got a boil between her legs from being unhygienic from Peggy yesterday's video. Um, or should we watch this other one? This is a little bit longer. Eh, let's just watch this one. So what happened is that she was like not cleaning herself, right? Anyways, so you guys um, know how humid and hot it is here, and, uh... Girl, I get the feeling that she doesn't clean those... Part of the problem is she doesn't clean her abaya. She doesn't clean her knickers. <laughs> That's what they call underwear in the UK, right? She doesn't clean her underwear. She doesn't clean her abaya. She doesn't clean her hijab. It's bad. It is bad. We, we've been doing so much walking, doing these attractions, sometimes doing two attractions a day. By the way, after this live, there will be a video out. I finally finished one vlog. Um, anyway. Um... Oh, yeah, but she's been tagging hashtag, excuse me. She's been tagging hashtag lady boy on every single Thailand video. And we haven't seen any in any of the videos. So, like, why is she tagging that? just to get some sort of attention. I mean, those videos, I've seen them on YouTube of like interviews with lady boys. Um, I have chub rub because I have chubby legs and uh, I developed, started small and I thought, okay, you know, usually sometimes if I get like a small boil, they just- No, like, no, I mean, I mean like a thing on my body. What was it? Well, I, I don't know, it's-, it's I think the chub rub was like everything was rubbing together because she had pants on, right? Under her abaya. And then it was like rubbing. But her stomach is underneath her pants. So it's like all kind of together. Kind of in a place that's not, that's not visually accessible to me. And I was hoping maybe you guys could, could help me out. Why? No. Come on, you guys, no big deal. Just uh, buy it. Hey. <laughs> Well, what is it? Is it a mole? Let's go away on their own. But this one, because I've been walking like every day, we finally did like, it was, it was the, this boil or cyst thing was growing on my thigh um, over time. And finally it hit a head, literally. Right, she always waits till it gets so bad. It had gotten so bad that she couldn't even wait to go back to Kuwait. When we went, like, did a double attraction in one day, and it just grew, like, it almost like overnight, just like swollen and big and purple and gross. Yeah, TMI, by the way. So she's been like walking around every single day in the hot sun, sweating buckets, probably not showering when she gets back to the hotel. I mean, have you guys? When I when I was on vacation, I was showering at night too, just because it was so hot that past week, a couple of weeks ago, so hot every single day. So it was very getting very painful because, like, even now sitting down, I'm like, oh yeah, she's using that tag a hundred percent. She did address it, but why? Because like it doesn't have anything to do with the videos, you know. So I had to get it, um, they had to do like that, like surgical procedure where they lance it and, uh, that it's going to get to the point where something really bad happens and she's going to wait 
and wait and wait. And by the time she gets to the doctor, it's going to be too late or it's going to be in Kuwait and they're not going to know what to do with her. And she doesn't have any health insurance. Of course, she has her Canadian insurance if she goes back. But that doesn't transfer over to uh, Kuwait. No, honey, no. She's going to go bankrupt. One thing bad happening to her and she's going to be bankrupt. And then what is the law going to do? How on earth that was so painful. Can you imagine she's bankrupt in Kuwait? Salah dumps her. Like, it's over. Yeah. yeah, it was so painful. I know they can become septic. That's why I had to get it taken care of. So, yeah. Um, and it cost a pretty penny to do that, actually. Can you imagine the Taiwanese doctors? Like, what would they think? opening up her gown and like getting ready to do this procedure. So that was fun. Um, and I have to follow up with a clinic every other day to get it taken care of and yada, yada, yada. <sighs> really, Lisa? What? She'll go like once and then never again. But I don't even know if she will go really. Oh, no. She has to go back to get it, like, checked and, like, repacked and whatever. She better go because it could, like, get bad again. Oh, yeah, I keep saying Taiwanese. Um, how do you say Thailand? Thailanders? Thai. Just Thai. Yeah, just Thai. Yeah, what would the Thai doctors, like, think? I'm sure they've never, like, seen anything like that before. That sounds bad. Probably thinking like, oh my goodness, this American woman. What do they do? <laughs> no, they lance it. So basically they <laughs> cut it open. We get blamed, guys. We get blamed. Open, and then they like squeeze all the stuff out, you know, and uh, they pack it a bit. Um, yeah. Yeah. It was bigger than a golf ball. So it's it's very, 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 very painful. She didn't get any antibiotics. Really? I bet you like like Amber Lynn, half of the antibiotics don't even work for her anymore. It gets to the point where you're if you get these infections so often. I've learned this from like Amber Lynn and then doing my research. They run out of antibiotics to prescribe for you because your body is like immune to all of them. And um, they don't work even with a bit of freezing. I can still feel it. And it's so it's like a sharp pain. It's like a sting. It gets to the point where you might have to be hospitalized for an extended period of time. Yeah, like a pressure. I don't know. Yeah, it's so gross. So it bled a lot. The boil feels like karma. Uh, a, a little bit. A karmic boil. Yeah, Emberlin's like cellulitis. She gets cellulitis like once a year and she just thinks it is what it is. Mars, yeah, they ha I have to go to a clinic and follow up with it, with the care after. So, so all, yeah, so that sucks because like I'm going to have to like let it heal for a bit because whenever I walk, it's going to like bug it. Even sitting down is like, you know, so I just lay down most of the time since that. Um, the word Lance, yeah. Do you have to? Well, it does make sense for her to get this boil. I mean, she was barely moving in Kuwait and now she's walking like over a mile a day here in Thailand in the humidity. And, you know, it's like hot and sticky down there. Or a Band-Aid. Um, no, not any antibiotic now, Golden Girl. But the last time I... It was pretty much like a recipe for disaster, a bacterial breeding ground when they did give me one so I'm surprised but um, I guess they're just waiting to see maybe they don't numb all the way no it's true Mars they got did you guys ever watch like uh, botched and you hear those horror stories about people getting surgery in like different countries and I heard one where they instead of anesthesia they brought out two big ice blocks and that was to numb it and that's all they got for plastic surgery, like, scary.
like maybe like this big. It was like pretty big, maybe like almost golf ball size. <laughs> almost golf ball size. I swear it was bigger than a golf ball. <laughs> and there's no way that that didn't stink. Yeah, I know teardrop. It's so bad. I've had one before, like here. Remember, I had that, and I, uh, I don't like those. So anyway, but it didn't have like any smell or anything. Like lies. That has to be a hundred percent a lie. Sure, Jan. Like normally, like they do, they can because it's like infected. So they, there wasn't any smell. So maybe that wasn't infected. I don't know. It was probably like green. That's my story time about that. So yeah, I'm kind <laughs> of like put out. Put up for a little bit anyway um good that's the end of the trip don't don't even try to fool us this is the end of the trip we still have some like i'm just she has footage like the tiger park um i do wonder she might have another video going up tomorrow but trust me it's gonna be from before the boil bb before boil I'm gonna like take the time honestly and just catch up on all the vlogs i didn't edit um and that's about it i can walk a little bit obviously but why are these vlogs so bad i mean i don't know i'm like torn because some of the footage is like funny but on the surface like the vlogs are horrible not like for like doing hours of walking you know <laughs> because it's it's like hot and humid and like just it's just not ideal you know when it, like it was bad hi pmac Thank you, Freya. Yeah. Yikes on bikes. <laughs> Do we think they have boom boom? Not at all. Not at all. Yeah, she did go live earlier today. We like just looked at that one. Sure, has to heal up a bit, yeah. Um, it was blood. It was like the thing wasn't like white. It was like Do you think she like doesn't even like look anymore? Is that why this just like came out of the blue? She finally like had to notice it because it was like a golf ball. She doesn't even like look anymore. She can't even see anymore. Wow. Wow. Yeah, Alexandra Rodriguez. Um, I didn't see her new video, but I did see that she lost her baby. That's really sad. Purple and then it was just like blood. It wasn't like really um there was some but it was like purple it's not to be gross but <clears throat> a power scooter for the vlogs purple. i wish how was the yeah she needs a scooter over there in other countries they don't really have scooters at the grocery store and stuff she should get one of those <laughs> that's it for her if she just sits down in a scooter and stops walking things are gonna get way worse ER compared actually the healthcare was pretty good like it was very quick honestly one boil could be it for her she's lucky she escaped unscathed for now um compared to like canada but it was still very pricey so that he lets her omg i'm not reading that <laughs> with no touching how would that work with no touching sucks I always like take for granted, like, I don't, I'm not going to need health insurance, you know, but. How can she think that way at 400 pounds? So many health problems that she has just let go unchecked. Diabetes that she had, but now supposedly she doesn't like that could get very serious, very fast. And yet she thinks she's perfectly fine with no health insurance. What? How delusional can he possibly be? More of it's I'm just lazy and don't bother. Uh, they hurt so bad. I hate that. I'm like, oh no, please go away on its own. And then, like, it's still small. Maybe it'll go away. But then by the time we got back, like, the next day after we... Yeah, how do the, how do the healthcare prices compare to, like, America, though? I bet for us it'd probably seem cheap. <laughs> oh, that seems cheap. Did this, like, double attraction day. And it was so hot that day that it was double attraction day. Just so irritated, it just grew. It's a lot. Of, uh, yes, of course he takes care of me. <laughs> of course he takes care of me, guys. She sold the SUV to Visa Jump. What are they getting around in? That's what I want to know. What happened to Alasha Beeb? 
can he come on and just jessica jessica Mexico, where is she are you in here <laughs> can you contact allah for an update we need an update from allah shabib wasn't uh jessica supposed to go over to kuwait Jessica, go on over to Kuwait. Tell us the tea. Report live from Chantal's high rise. <laughs> Remember when she was like humiliated because foodie booty, because there was reviews on her apartment building. People found her apartment building and they started posting like her naked pictures on the apartment building. Google, whatever came of that, I guess nothing, but can you imagine being like the landlord and logging in and seeing all these fake reviews and seeing this woman naked that you just rented this apartment to and she's this completely different person now? And did she have to talk about that? Did they contact her or did they just like pretend like it didn't happen? Oh, they're paying. So as long as they're paying, <laughs> you know. Yeah, Allah, Allah did say that Salah sold his car before they left. Yep. But I just wonder, like, how does how did that work? Because there's no way that they just bought that car outright. She doesn't have 30000 lying around. So they sold it, like, with the payment. I don't get it. I don't get how that worked. You can't puke anymore. What? Too much boil talk. Her news on the Google review. Yeah, that was bad. That was really bad. The landlord's therapy bill. Girl. How much health care is in Thailand? Oh, really? I'm kind of curious how much it is. Is it a short video? An update. How much does Foodie pay for the mukbangs? I'd like to know about that. All of that money that went to the food. Maybe they were renting the car. Ooh, maybe it was like a lease. And they just like turned it back in. Right? And she tried to come up on here and flex that they had this car. And it was just a lease. Probably. Her whole life is like fake smoke and mirrors. You know what I mean? The chins pop out. We we did already look at it. But we could look at it one more time if you want to. The chins popping out of the hijab. Hello. Good day. How are you, chins? <laughs> All right. Give me a second. We looked at uh, Just Saiyan's short of the chins popping. Okay. Mukbang highly requested. Oh, uh, yeah. <laughs> what did Salah say? No way. Wait. Was he talking to her or was it like... <laughs> the apartment is just a set. <laughs> <laughs> It's like the friends set. <laughs> She's still in Canada and all of the content is filmed on a set five miles outside of Toronto. That's my theory and I'm sticking to it. <laughs> Even during this Thailand trip, it's all just five miles outside Toronto in a large set. Oh my gosh, not the Pillsbury Dough. <laughs> I love popping those open though. Did you guys love um, popping open the Pillsbury Dough? She lets it all hang out. The Chantal show. <laughs> the ugly hats. I saw someone on Reddit was talking about her hat. And like how she was so goofy for wearing that hat. It's like a hat that uh, a certain religious group wears and people will like buy them to support them. But people don't really go around like wearing them unless they're a part of that group. 
the way it popped out was unusual. It was almost like, yeah, like the croissant dough coming out of the jar or the cinnamon rolls. I love a good Pillsbury cinnamon roll. I can't get myself started. I'm supposed to be on a diet right now, guys. I weighed in. I'm um, I'm trying to do the 16-8 again. I didn't do it today because I just ate some crackers. But when did we eat those? Like an hour ago? 9.30. So let me just add 16 hours to 9.30. And we should be good. Adjust, adjust, adjust. Ghost face from Scream. I was at Lush today and they have ghost face from Scream bath bombs. And I kind of wanted one. But I didn't get it. I love that like all the spooky season stuff is coming. Chantal's on a diet too. What do you guys think is going to happen when she gets back to Kuwait? Like, will she go back to fast food mukbangs on the floor? Or... Will she try to do the diet boxes? I don't... That's kind of really up in the air. Because I feel like she's going to have to go back to the mukbangs, right? These travel vlogs are just not bringing in the same amount of money, I think, as the mukbangs. Well, let's look. Let's look. Yeah, she can barely crack 10K. Well, that was on the just on the durian video. You know what? They're actually doing pretty much the same as the mukbangs. 13, 11, 11, 13. The mukbangs, 12, 11, 10. Yeah, it's doing pretty much the same. It just seems like she can't even get like 15K to save her life anymore. That's so sad. Back in the day, she would get like 40, 50K on every single mukbang. If she had McDonald's, like forget about it. It would be like 100K. Not really. ALR themed costume. I was just thinking about Halloween and I kind of wanted to do like four different cost. No, yeah, four different costumes <laughs> for every week. Is there four Sundays or is there five Sundays in October? Oh, shit, there is five. Well, we're only going to do four. There's five Sundays in October. So I'm going to try to get like four different costumes, maybe. I don't know. I'll have to go on Amazon. I'll have to go now before they start like picking them all out um, to Party City, maybe, or even Target. Oh, yeah, we were Destiny last year. Was that really a year ago? Yeah, what? Was that really a year ago or did I just do that for fun? I think it was. I don't even remember like my own times, my own live streams. I will definitely do, I'll probably do like two Girl World related and maybe just two like regular, I don't know. I'm just Ken. Spirit of Halloween. Uh, did they open that up yet? I'm not sure where they put it this year. You know how it always like moves around. Moves around, moves around. Yeah, should I go as the boil? Should I go as a big festering boil? I think that might be the tea. Do you want to see her climb into that tuk tuk just one last time? For old time's sake. <laughs> old time's sake. It was like a week and a day ago. I don't care what anyone says. This is my favorite video from the Thailand trip. Is her getting into the tuk tuk. And no, we are not buying a cameo. Oh yeah, should I be Pete's? I feel like that would be a pretty easy one. Stuff a pillow in my shirt. Just buy, all I would have to buy to be Pete's is a brown t-shirt. 
you guys know the one, a brown t-shirt, plain brown t-shirt, and like a and some sort of wig for the long hair. And then um, I could just let all my facial hair grow out and then also paint on like more. So it's like scraggly. Good idea. Maybe I'll be Pete's. I don't want to spoil it though. Should I be a big cherry? Let me write some of this shit down. Cause I'm I'm really not good with costumes. I overthink it. I've always been that way. I definitely need to do like YouTube shorts like I did with Destiny. The Destiny costume was iconic. I kind of want to go as a big cherry. I'm a big cherry. Wait, what? Why did it cut off? Notice how she like cut, she cut out the part of her like climbing in. You okay? It's <laughs> so hard to get into when you're short and chubby. Salah can F off. I'm over him. Ooh, yeah, what if I went? I go as a big bean bag. A big old bean bag or a seafood boil. <laughs> All right. I did kind of want to like quickly check in with Hungry Fatty because she has some really good news, guys. She has some really good news. We should definitely highlight some good things. Um, yeah, she's in the 300s, y'all. Candy Hungry Fat Chick is in the 300s. Let's take a look at it. Why not? That means she is officially, like, the skinniest girl. Thank you, Senpai, for the super chat in an ambulance right now as my water broke early. Oh, it's a good thing. Only 26 weeks, baby. Oh, it's not. Baby is still well. I'll have to miss this stream tonight. Oh my gosh, senpai. I hope everything works out for you. That is nervous, but exciting. OMG. It's Thursday. I'm having salad for lunch. I can't with her, like, food parts, though. <laughs> Let's just look at them individually because it kind of is just too much. So she has the avocado. I'm not sure what that is. Like, crumbles. Is that just, like, little hot dogs in the water? It's literally, like, hot dog water. Some frozen fruit. Okay, let's go to the scale. The moment of truth. Hey, yo. <laughs> Today is Friday. Right, America's skinniest squirrel. Hey, September 8th. Um, yeah. Uh, Wednesday's video, I let y'all... Yes, senpai. Congratulations. Again. You got this squirrel know that things have been going a little strange this week but um you know i have no expectations but i'm i'm hopeful <laughs> so i guess we'll see what happens here all righty the moment of truth no. hello <clears throat> it's ready used to get oh, okay here we go all right <clears throat> Yeah, I can turn her up. Hello. Hi. It's ready. Okay. Oh. Oh. Alrighty. Three hundred ninety-nine point six pounds. Three ninety-nine point six. Oh, three ninety-nine. Yay. <laughs> 
you know, Chantal is seething. Well, according to Chantal, she's less than that, but nobody really buys that, do they? <sighs> it was point four yesterday, but <sighs> y'all know. Right? I always thought she was bigger than the girls. Um, but she was never bigger than Amber. Never. <laughs> Things change overnight. Oh, my toe. Yeah. I think they were around the same at one point. Like, I think they were both around 450 at one time. Like, maybe a few years ago. Because remember, Amber got down to, like, 450. I think that was her lowest weight in, like, the past five years was, like, 450, guys. Amber. No? Rub my toe on something. Uh, anyway. Goodbye. Bye. Oh, thank you. Um... Genghis Shosli, 88. <laughs> Ging, okay, I'm not really sure, girl. Thank you so much. Welcome to Shookers. Welcome. Yes, the 300s, girls. Hello, 300s. I'm trying to get down to my goal weight is 160. That's my goal weight. But also, I want to work on my arms. So I don't care if I don't lose any weight as long as I lose fat, gain muscle, you know? Hey, y'all. Uh, no makeup today. It's uh, it's Friday, September 8th. Um, just checking in with you guys uh, on my Saturday. Y'all saw my... You mean to say it's not three weeks old? <laughs> I'm just not used to that. Uh, uh, weekly weigh in, three ninety nine point six, um, up point two from yesterday, but you know it's just water weight. But uh, in just water. She's been pretty like slow and steady, which I feel like is the way to go. I mean, yeah, she like dropped quite a bit at the beginning. That's always what's going to happen, and then you kind of hit these plateaus that you have to work through. As long as you just keep it going and it keeps going in the right direction, I think that that's pretty good. I mean, this could take like a year or two, but as long as she does keep going down, I do see a brighter future, you know? What was her starting weight? I think it was like 450, something like that. Anyway, I just wanted to stop in and say hi, uh, show y'all a little bit of my food and show y'all my... Maybe like four, 440, yeah, 440, 445-ish at her heaviest there was a time where i think candy was like 600 mm -hmm. but that was before youtube yeah over 500 and um she wouldn't even it was one of those situations where she wouldn't look at the scale when did she upload it yesterday it was kind of like tammy slayton because tammy <clears throat> tammy was like over 600 pounds and she wouldn't even look at the scale so it could have been like 650 700 like we don't even really know weigh in uh not a whole lot to to talk about since tuesday just one day at a time here uh whew, dealing with a lot of feelings um you know that's just the way it goes oh shit really she was 506 at the heart attack girl oh yeah when she went with nick Ocado. i can't believe he took her to the heart attack grill omg um, but very, that was a spectacle. I'm very proud of myself for, for reaching my first goal. <laughs> um, so, oh, what is happening? I always wonder my, to myself, like, what's like really going on with Nick Ocado right now? Cause he's always been, um, lately he's been like on YouTube, off YouTube. Nobody really knows what's going on with him. It's kind of mysterious. I wouldn't even be surprised if he popped up one day. And was like 250 pounds. I'm back. I'm skinny. Like, <laughs> uh, Netflix has a show that I just started called One Piece. Uh, I, I don't want. I oh my gosh, One Piece. <laughs> Are you guys going to watch the One Piece show? I thought that was a movie, but I guess it's just a show. Sherry Brooke, welcome to Sugars. Welcome. Hasn't he been losing weight? 
Um, there was a few videos where he appeared thinner, but um, let me just bring up his channel really quickly. Is anyone watching One Piece? <laughs> I think I might watch it just to see. I used to read it back in the day in like middle school. Um, hmm. Nick just like doesn't post. See, he posted this video four weeks ago. That has to be years old of him and Candy four weeks ago. It got 1 million views, 1.4 million views. And this is obviously really old. Like, look at Candy. Is that like over a year old? Was this video just like sitting on a hard drive somewhere? Like, it's so hard to tell what's going on with him. But, um... Where is the second channel or the third channel or the fourth channel? <laughs> Sherry Brooke, thank you for the super chat. Hi, Alex. That would have been my, that would have been my 11th month, 11th month anniversary of being subscribed, but my card expired. I hope you remember me as a longtime supporter though. I definitely do. I know you were on there, girl. I think you're still on the on the sugar card at the end of the video. I do remember you though. Yes, I do remember. Thank you. Thank you. Um, more Nikocado, I think is the right channel, right? Two weeks ago. See, two weeks ago, he was still doing the same thing. Oh, Marty's going to go I'm after very... Chantal tonight. See, he looks skinnier there, right? I just don't even like watching them. <laughs> Amber said they glorify DV. Sad. Remember there was that whole thing where they would like fight in every single video. But it was just so fake and dumb. I don't know. Were you guys offended? I'm halfway through the first episode and I'm like... You know, I really should watch the, uh, is it, is it manga or is it anime? Mm -hmm. I don't know what- Anime's the show, girl. <laughs> BCCCC, thank you for the super chat. The difference is I don't watch a lot of anime. Um, but anyway, I liked the, the first episode so far, so maybe I should- Yeah, other than that, not a whole lot going on. Um, I finally got Susan to agree to watch Sex in the City with me. That's all she's doing is, like, watching TV? <laughs> Other than watching TV, not much has been going on. <laughs> Do I follow Gorlek? Um, sometimes I'll pop in a video. Why? Something else going on? Uh, that should be fun. We've been watching The Mentalist. Um, yeah, so, like I said, not a lot going on. Oh, yeah, so, something very, very frustrating has been going on. Oh, yeah, tell um, us, tell us. Know, I have a, have a MacBook Pro, and... um. While they used to work, The Sims and World of Warcraft, I can't install, reinstall either of them. And I've gone through all the forums, and apparently a lot of Mac users are having similar problems. Not everybody, but, uh... I don't care. But I can't access it on my MacBook. What it is exactly? I don't remember. I haven't had it out in over a year. To, I don't get up until after 3 p.m., and then I'm busy until in the evening, and then I'm... Oh, is her sleep schedule messed up, y'all? It's an Amber situation type deal. You know, gonna watch stuff with Susan until late in the evening. Uh, I need to, I need to set aside a day and just say I can't do anything but live today. <laughs> but um, does she ever do live streams? So, what did you say? There was a comment about Nick Accato. He did a live stream, and he asked what he should do in his next ALR parody video. Is he still parodying her, parodying her? I like don't have the patience. It's the worst computer for video games. Yeah, you definitely don't buy a computer or you don't buy a Mac to play computer games, right? You play it for like editing and stuff or you buy it for like editing and stuff. She should Twitch stream. Yeah, sure. Why not? That could be fun. She's having a hard time coming up with the content. That's what I was thinking, right? Because she used to just like order food and eat the food. I mean, and that is like a cycle that you get into. I'll figure that out too. 
She could do live streams if she doesn't feel like filming a video and stuff. It's a good way to like pad out your videos if you don't like feel like filming that day. Speaking of live streams, what happened to Becky? We talked about this on the last live stream. Like she came, she saw, she came, she got her money and then she dipped. Becky, Becky, Becky. <laughs> what? And she like posted her roommate's cash tab. Cash app. Two million years later. I kind of want to hear from Becky. She was gone and now she's, she was back and now she's gone. That's what Becky always does. Yikes. So black screen spirit box. What the heck is this? Black screen spirit box. This is the last video she posted. I don't even know if I want to click on it if it's like witchcraft. You know what I mean? Does she? Oh, okay. She had like a ton of live streams. Logan, that's her man, right? <laughs> LOL. She could stream herself playing WoW. Oh, yeah. World of Warcraft. Did you guys ever play that? I have been playing Baldur's Gate, but kind of off and on because I, I started playing Starfield. So I don't know what it is. Like I have, I'm so ADD lately. Like I can't even play games and enjoy them. I just want to like scroll on social media and get that dopamine TikTok hit, you know, but I don't want to do it. Like I'd rather play my game, but like, I just can't sit there and do it. I don't know what it is, but I really, really want to just sit there and do it. I can't pay attention. You don't think it's witchcraft? Did you see that? No. It is some sort of creepy stuff. This is Becky's video. Cumberland, Kentucky. They spoke to spirits. I don't know about that. Using an app, using an iPhone app. <laughs> Do you think you can talk to spirits with an iPhone? I'm thinking no, but I'm thinking scam.com. Have you heard of Shauna Ray? Oh, yes, yeah, Shauna Ray. Yeah, I've heard of her. Or her boyfriend sus. I say just let the girl be. Let the woman. She's a woman, honey. Just let her be. She's an adult. She's an adult. You know? I mean, that would suck if you had people questioning your boyfriends like every time. So she has a she has a disease, Shauna Ray, that makes her look like a little girl, but she's actually 20 something. But I feel bad for her. She's 24, but she looks nine. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. Do you guys think that makes her boyfriend sus? I mean... Mentally, she's 24. I just feel bad that every relationship she has, people will, like, question what are his intentions? Like, is this weird? Oh, yeah, the Life by Jen documentary. I didn't watch it yet. That's so sad. Like, anything having to do with Jen. Have you guys seen... um Have you guys seen like the latest pictures and videos of UG? Like, I'm not going to show it. I'm not going to show it because it's just so horrifying. And I don't know, guys. It looks really bad. Like people are saying that she like there's months. She has months left. Especially now that she's... So UG, Eugenia is getting closer and closer to 30, right? She's 29 right now, 1994, baby. And uh, it looks so bad. Like, this is the absolute worst, I think, that I've ever seen her. There was a video of her at Disney World, like, in the hot tub. 
and like her chest was so sunken and I had never even seen anything like that before. I don't think she has much time. I mean, people have been saying that for years, but I don't see how it can go on much longer. Like, and I just can't like that fucking mom, dude, that fucking mom. How in the world can she look at that and not do anything? It's crazy. If she doesn't get into impatient, like right now, like that's it. You were just checking on her. I like can barely even look at her anymore. Like, I don't even want to talk about her. Like, oh, <gasps> it's too much. And her mom, like just months ago, the mom was like, she's fine, guys. She's fine, guys. Are you kidding? It just makes you want to like shake her. Wake up. <laughs> How? How? Will I show the pic? No, I'm not going to show the pictures. It's too much. I can't even show it. I don't even feel right showing it. You can look it up. Um, the Love Eugenia Cooney channel. It's like a channel. Just look up that channel because I won't show it. They have a life insurance policy. Gee, that's morbid. That is so morbid. Yeah, it is on YouTube. Her mom. Mm hmm. But like, also not just the mom. Like, what about the dad? There's a dad there, too. He's not on the videos, so we don't know him or we don't see him, but he's there. It's like, it's almost like she's living the mom is like living as like a stage mom kind of through her. Maybe she always wanted to be like famous or it's something kind of weird like that. Or she always wanted to be skinny. I don't know, but there's something really weird about that situation. And the mom just gives me the creeps. She only has a few months or weeks left. <clears throat> yeah, well, do you guys watch Of Herbs and Altars? That's the person that I watched today. And they, they put out a video basically talking about the situation. Because I saw the, the pictures a couple of days ago and I said, this is the worst, the absolute worst. And then today I saw the video from Herbs and Altars. And they pretty much said the same thing that I was thinking, like... There's not much time. Like, for real, this time, there's not that much time. <clears throat> yeah, it's a short video. YouTube shorts. Um, there was also... People were concerned because she cosplayed as Selena Quintana Quintanilla. Um, and she was wearing, like, the iconic Selena purple outfit. Oh, God. Herb, yeah, herbs and alders. Yeah. It's a good video, basically. Basically, she said, like, think about what you say because this might be, like, the last thing that she reads. Because that's it. Like, you know, the Selena costume. Mm hmm. Oh, yeah, there's going to be, like, videos, documentaries and stuff. The tragic tale. Oh, God. I can't even think about it right now because I just don't know. It's such a crazy situation because there's just there's all these people in her life. It's not like she's all by herself. It's not like she's all by herself, like, in an apartment. And there's no, she's not surrounded by anybody. Right. What about like a 5150? I don't know. Or the laws regarding. I don't really know how that works. It would seem as though she is like a threat to herself. 
it's just been going on for so long. How can you look at her and not do something? I don't know. It just doesn't even make sense. It almost makes you wonder, like, is there some sort of chronic illness? But how is she, like, dancing around? Like, everything is okay, you know? And she was just on those live streams with, like, Jeffree Star. Jeffree, bro. Like, what are you doing? What are you doing? I don't know. At this point, it's like... He was just being, like, nice to her, I guess. I don't know. He was just being nice to her because he knows that she doesn't have that much time left. Maybe that's what it was. There's nothing he can do, you know? Nothing if her parents won't do anything. But just if you think about it, all it would really take is one phone call from the mom, right? All it would take is one phone call. But um, the cops in her area, now no nobody on the internet could do it because the cops already know that people are concerned from her and they, and they refuse to do anything. I don't know if that's really in their wheelhouse even, but, and people were like, trying to swat her and things like that, which is obviously not okay. So they, for the most part, they just ignore calls about her. Or they just, I believe the procedure is they have to call her and they might have to just say like, hi, and then bye. But that's it. Nobody's taking her away. She needs inpatient hospice right right hopefully not hospice i don't think she would even really get to a hospice three years sometimes that's that is what it would take right three whole years wow if that's what it takes i mean it's better than calling the calling it quits forever I just, no, I just don't see them taking her away. If anyone on the internet called, I don't think they would take her away because it's been like years and they haven't, you know, it would have to be the mom calling. She's tricked the police. Yeah, she actually talked about how she went in because there were so many calls to the station. She went into the police station to meet them and everything was great. Everything was wonderful. They were so nice. <laughs> or so she says, I don't know. They kind of sat her down and asked her if everything was okay. And she was just like, yeah, yeah, it's great. It's great. <laughs> Yikes. I just don't see, like, yeah, the parents are a big part of the problem. It's just that this isn't something that you see very often. I mean, when it comes to, like, addictions, right, you see the parents, like, giving money for them to buy, th buy things. But that's not what's going on here. I mean, it's not like that. But clearly, like, she's not eating dinner, they're not sitting down as a, at a, as a family and eating dinner. But what does she do? Because she's in Disney World right now. So when the family goes out and they go to a restaurant at Disney World, she just sits there and doesn't eat anything and they don't say anything. They don't ask her if she wants something. They don't. And this goes on and on for the whole week. Or they're just used to the, used to this and they don't say anything and they just let it happen like. I don't get it. You know what I mean? Because like you go to a restaurant, you're on vacation. Y'all go to restaurants all the time. There's probably not much anyone can do. I don't. Yeah, I don't think so. They can only hold her a few days. Yeah, that's pretty true, right? Because when you do like the 5150, 
it's like 48 hour hold. And then you decide, right, if you want to stay or not. Unless it's like really extreme, then they can keep you longer, I believe. If you're like of sound mind, though, usually they'll just like let you go. But if they know that you need more help, they'll keep you longer. Yeah, the whole family has to be unwell. What about the brother? I don't know too much about the brother. I don't think that he really, he's not online. He doesn't want to be online. And I respect that, but you just have to wonder. Yeah, 72 hour hold. I think it's 48 some places, 72 other places. K H, thank you for the super chat. Hi, Alex. Thank you for the live stream. Thank you, KH. Oh, okay. The brother has autism. Okay. Not sure what's going on. Tube feed. Jeez. That's a lot. That is definitely a lot. The mom's Munchausen. It's kind of giving like that show on Hulu about like that real life story, the Munchausen show. Welcome, Mudflap. How are you doing? Imagine if Amber Lynn had a 72 hour hold. They would let her go. They don't take obesity like seriously like that. They're just trying to make their coin off of the obesity. The brother's morbidly obese. Really? Yeah, The Act. That was a good show. It's been a long time since I've seen it. Gypsy Rose. Mm-hmm. That was like a true story. Or like, does anyone remember Real Housewives of Beverly Hills where Lisa Rinna like kept saying that um, the one lady had, uh, Yolanda had Munchausen's, but really she had Lyme disease. That was so bad. She was like, I swear she has Munchausen's. And she's like, I have Lyme. Oh. <laughs> Freaking Lisa, she's so dumb. Did you ever see how like Yolanda and Gigi Hadid, she's Gigi Hadid's mom, she would give her like half an almond. Just take half, just eat half an almond and like chew it really well. Girl. That'll fill you up. And she like took the Gigi like wanted to eat a cupcake or like a sweet. And she almost like took it out of her hand. I had a donut today. It was so good. Do you guys have duck donuts? I was at my grandma's like I can't diet at my grandma's like I'm trying to diet. But Sunday is going to be my cheat day because... <laughs> I can't diet at my grandma's because she just, she gives me donuts and she, yeah, just gives me things. Here, eat this. She would probably be like offended if I didn't eat it, you know? <laughs> Yolanda's crazy. I think, I think so too. The mom has, doesn't have Munchausen's. Oh yeah, she doesn't take the she doesn't take her to the doctor. So Eugenia swears up and down that she goes to the doctor and that her blood work is good. The mom said said as much herself. It's crazy. Oh yeah. Mom, I feel like I'm gonna pass out. Yolanda, have an almond. Just have half an almond and chew it really well. She's literally like instilling E D mindset. Into her young daughter. It's giving abuse. Oh, do you guys want to talk about the escaped prisoner? Oh my gosh. So there was actually a home invasion. So if you, if you guys don't know, there was a prisoner in a Chester County, Pennsylvania prison that escaped. 
he literally walked up the wall backwards like like spider-man he had his arms on the one side of the wall and his feet on the other side and he climbed up to the top of the jail allegedly put like a towel over the barbed wire and somehow he just like left he literally just like left the jail and so he's been wandering around this is like an hour away from me it's not that far it's not that far it's not that close like i was a little afraid last night going to my garage to get a drink like it's a little close for comfort, although the search zone, it's not that close to me. So I feel pretty safe. <laughs> Supposedly, they think he's in this tourist attraction, which is called Longwood Gardens. And he showed up at a co-worker's. He showed up at a co-worker's house. Or like an ex coworker, yeah. Danello was recorded on a doorbell camera at a former work associate's home. And even before this, there was an interview on the news. There was a family in that area, in Chester County, in like Westchester County, that area of Pennsylvania. He came into their house. And it was a husband and a wife. And the husband was like, to his wife, <clears throat> I think that's him. I think that's him. And so he got up. He started like flicking the lights on and off the man, who the homeowner, because he just kind of wanted to scare him a little bit, see if he would just leave, right? And then him, the psycho murderer, started doing the lights on and off, on and off too, as if to say, I'm down here, don't come down. He stole like peaches. He stole like a couple of pieces of fruit, right? Probably some clothes. I'm not sure what else. And just left. They didn't get hurt. Thank the Lord. But this guy, here here he is, the escaped prisoner. He used to have a he used to have a full beard and mustache, but he shaved it all off. And he got some new clothes, right? He still has on the green prison pants. Yep, he came into somebody's house. Mm -hmm. So he still has on the green, pr green prison pants. <laughs> um, there he is. But this is him at the ex workers. His ex coworker, work associate's house. Yeah. Where exactly was that, anyways? So he slipped out of the search area. So they had this Longwood Gardens, which was like a tourist attraction, kind of a very beautiful place. There's water there. It's somewhere where you could survive, you know? Well, they had it surrounded, and somehow he got out. I don't know how, like, they keep seeing him, but they can't find him, right? Because the ex-coworker was at dinner, and he opens up his app and sees him, like, on the porch. You know, do you guys have, like, a blink camera? So he opens up the app and sees him on the porch, right? And then calls the police, and he managed to get away again. The police still didn't get him. He must have been within minutes of this house, but they still couldn't get him. And he was in prison because he killed somebody. He killed his ex-girlfriend, I believe. And he escaped from Brazil. He came here illegally to America. He was in Brazil. He was accused of murdering someone in Brazil. And that's why he like fled here. And then he did it again. We got him, put him in jail. And now he's just like running around. Mm-hmm. Oh, and he stabbed, he stabbed her ex as well. Yeah, so he's seriously dangerous. It's pretty frustrating that this person is just like running around. 
Like, where is he going to go? And there has been murmurings that he might like cross state lines at this point and that this might turn into like a, I don't know what it would be called. Like, like they're going to bring in the big guns if he starts crossing state lines. It's crazy. What is, is that the newest update? Him at this house? I'm not totally sure. Let me just Google his name real quick. See if we can find anything more up to date. I've been like kind of obsessed with this. He's been aided by his sister. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So his sister has actually been arrested. Because allegedly she has been helping him in some way or another. I don't think that they really released that quite yet. But they did say that she's arrested. So six hours he slipped the parameter. So he could be pretty much anywhere in Pennsylvania by now. Or even Delaware, Maryland, like... Where he was is pretty much on the Maryland-Delaware border. Oh, I hate this. I hate this where you can't read it anymore because you have to pay for it. You know, like, this is the Washington Post. F-U Washington Post. Let me read it. <laughs> Escaped killer spotted more than 20 miles. Okay, this is the same thing, I think. That's pretty much the newest update, I believe. Was him at the... co-worker's house. So... That's about it for that. He managed to escape the Longmore Gardens and now he's pretty much just on the run <laughs> somewhere in Pennsylvania possibly Delaware possibly Maryland or if he got a car he could be freaking anywhere by now maybe he would do like the Kia challenge the dog spotted him what dog F you Walmart. What about Walmart? <laughs> There's also an update on the eight passengers lady. Sunday scaries. <laughs> Is that Natter? It could be. Honestly, I could see Natter doing like the same thing, escaping somehow with his body, like doing some sort of insane trick, climbing up a wall. Oh, yeah, he did have a van. He did have a van. It was a 2020, I believe. Hold on, I have it screenshotted somewhere. Let me look this up. Where is it? Where is it? Okay, a 2020 white Ford Transit. Yeah, so he could be anywhere right now. Danello is operating a 2020 white Ford Transit bearing PA registration. And then the registration. The van has a refrigeration unit on the top. The vehicle is reported stolen by Bailey's Dairy. Oh, so he literally has like a dairy farm van. He must have like, he probably got rid of it. Yeah, he definitely got rid of it because there's no way. There's no way you could get away with, like, having that dairy van. It's too easy to spot. He probably used that to get out, like, to get pretty far. Ford Transit, it's giving, like, let me open up and throw you in the back. Right, no one could st could spot that van. Uh, he definitely ditched it somewhere. 
because that's too like obvious. You guys want to talk about Ruby Frankie? It looks like she doesn't have any. No bail for Ruby. She's going to rot in jail. So this is, if you guys watched my previous live stream, Ruby Fanky of the Eight Passengers YouTube channel, now defunct YouTube channel. She was charged with six counts of felony child abuse. So what happened, people on YouTube were watching this channel and they figured that things were pretty bad. Like she was weird. She, when her son talked about the punishment that she instilled on him taking his door for like six months. She was laughing. Like she thought it was hilarious. She's sick. She's twisted, but nobody could really, be nobody could really, nobody really thought that it was this bad to the point where the kid was seemingly locked in a room with no food and had to escape out of a window, run to the neighbor's house for help. Thank God those neighbors, you know, called the police and now she's being charged and stuff. Justice is being served. I do find it weird. Like, so the dad in this situation, what do you guys think of the dad? Because clearly he knew what was going on. I don't understand why nothing's going on with him. Like he's just okay. Y'all. And there she is, her mugshot and Jody Hildebrand. <laughs> Yeah, she made the son sleep on a beanbag for seven months. Can you imagine your back at the end of that? Like, how is that even like punishment? It's not. It's just abuse. The YouTube mom of eight passengers. They're not even giving her bail. I love that. Love that for you. Love that for you, Ruby. The dad enabled it. Yeah, clearly. Mm-hmm. Right, they're not together anymore, but. Imagine Ruby on Real Housewives of Salt Lake City. <laughs> yeah, he couldn't even let him sleep on a couch, right? I think the kids are like pretty split up right now. They'll build a case around him. I'm sure it's just a matter of time at this point. Yeah, the mom. So Ruby, yeah, she. we talked about this in the previous live stream. She was working at like Connections is what it was called. Something that helps people like get their life back together. But it was also really shady. And the other life coach is the one that's in jail with her. It's kind of confusing. There's a lot of different players here. So it was her home. They run this business together, right? And it was Hildebrand's home, which is this lady. Oh, they have a YouTube channel, Connections. I didn't know they had a YouTube channel. So the... So Jody is like complicit in the whole thing too. Clearly they like were doing this together. Yeah, do you think that there was some kind of lesbian relationship going on between Jody and Ruby? It's just kind of giving that energy. So the kids were taken into state custody, the minor kids. Some of the kids are over 18 by now. And hmm. so the hearing was not made available to local media, but I did hear there were some screenshots out there. I heard that people were like in the hearing causing trouble. Like, you know how there was a few trolls in like Natter's hearing? Well, there was a ton of trolls in this hearing, which is like not okay. Like, come on, guys. Come on.
Yeah, the virtual courtroom was overloaded. So even local media couldn't get in. Oh, come on. They had to have known. Look at her. Honestly, like, it's, like, funny. <laughs> it's funny to see her like that. Like, ha-ha, but not, like, ha-ha-ha. Yeah, the kid was 12, the one that was starved. Ruby took up with the life coach and dad left. Mm-hmm. But at the same time, they were really against, like, LGBT. Yeah, that's true. Because they were, like, super Mormon. It was Utah, and they're super Mormon. That was kind of her excuse for the strict... The way that she... Her strict parenting style, she just kind of said, like, oh, we're Mormon. But really, it was way beyond... Oh, so there were so many people in there. Oh, my goodness. And there's the other lady. Yo. Whatever happened to Natter's court hearing? Like, was there another one? Or whatever happened to that? I just... They seem to push it back so many times. Does anyone know if there is a hearing coming up in regards to Natter? So what became of that? Okay, here's something that kind of tells us everything about what's going on. Parenting expert. This is from Entertainment Tonight. It really does give like Lori Vallow vibes. Yeah, I was getting that too. She was their bully. Okay, so she was a mom of six. Of course, on the Eight Passengers channel, Frankie 41, the business partner is Jody. So that's what we need to know. They were initially arrested on the two counts of child abuse. And they were arrested at the business partner's home in Utah, three miles south of Salt Lake City. And the Frankies. So the Frankies originally lived about four hours north of where they were at this time. Raw Booty Christy. Um, I don't know why she's like dying on the James Charles Hill. Like why? Does James have something on her? And what could it be? Okay, so yeah, the juvenile like crawled out of the window, escaping Hildebrand's home, and then got to a neighbor's house and they were able to call 911. The police showed up duct tape around his ankles and wrists, and he was emaciated. The boy, the boy told him that what happened to him is his fault. Right. So there was definitely some. You can definitely tell that just there was a lot of like psychological abuse, uh, gaslighting. They made him believe that he deserved this treatment. At least that's what I'm getting out of that. He was telling them it was his fault. So the kid was completely brainwashed. Here she is. <laughs> F you. They were led to Hilda Brown's home where another child, a 10 year old girl was found in similar condition. So they just had these two kids there. They weren't taking care of them at all. The girl turned out to be Frankie's child as well. I have to wonder, like, who else was in their life seeing this go on and, like, didn't say anything or do anything? People think Ruby made her kids give false confessions in order to punish them for their sins. So almost like a like a Salem witch trials, like confess to this and you'll get a lighter sentence. If you deny you did it, like you will be punished type of thing. Type of psychological abuse. They interviewed Jody's niece. They said she did a lot of the same things to them. 
Oh, so Jody. When did she meet the Jody woman? Because like, if you go back and watch their old vlogs, you could tell that something was off. But obviously, the kids were not emaciated at that time. So it was definitely... I do think that something was off the whole time that they were on YouTube, but it seems this Jody woman exacerbated things to where they got really bad. And this connections that the Jody, that Jody runs, people have been comparing it to these youth, um, the wilderness youth camps or the troubled teen industry, those kind of vibes. Okay, so September 8th, they came on. It was delayed nearly an hour because of TikTokers. Girl, what? The woman appeared via video from jail wearing orange jumpsuits, and they did not enter a plea. Okay, Salt Lake City Tribune. They're accused of causing or preventing serious injury to the children in three different ways through a combination of physical injuries or torture jeopardizing their lives oh my god severe emotional harm that's crazy i mean you don't even know because like you look at her she looks pretty normal like you don't even know what's happening in your next door neighbor's house you know what i mean because these people well they did know Jody was weird, but they did not know that this was happening right down the street from them. And then, yeah, the neighbors again. So it seems like there's still more that needs to come out, right? Strong following on social media. And she portrayed herself as like someone who someone who was like an expert on parenting, right? She was a parenting coach on social media. Meanwhile, that's crazy. You really can't believe any of these so-called professionals on social media. Because you don't know what's happening. People have been against Ruby's behavior for years and years. Jody just helped Ruby to go deeper into it. Mm hmm. That's what I was thinking, because it's like, yeah, she's been like weird and shady for the longest time. But nobody suspected this. But they have been gone from YouTube for like two years, right? So that was kind of the end of that. I believe it was like two years that they were gone. All right, y'all, do you want to do a little amber lullaby, kind of a little palate cleanser, something a little fun before we leave? You like the watch band? Mud flap. It's like, look up Casio watch, Casio Apple watch band. It's like $5 on Amazon. So let's just do a little palate cleanser off of that yucky stuff. Shake, 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 shake off the bad vibes. Shake, shake, shake. We can't leave on that note because it's just too heavy. So I was thinking maybe we could watch the 572.4 way in. I just watched it and it was pretty good. Hey guys. All right, so let's just end with a little Amberlynn lullaby. Shake off the bad vibes. Watch something funny. All right. So this one is called Stepping on the Scale. Oh, no, no, no. You know what we should do? We should do uh, 2019. This... What is it? Today in 2019? <laughs> Should we watch 572 or today in 2019? What do you guys think? My computer has been like struggling to reach like all the way down to 2019. 
So I need to look on my iPad and then figure out which one it is. Mm. Argul. This day in 2019. So I'll look on my iPad because I can scroll faster to the right date. You know what I mean? Does that make sense? And then I'll type in the title of the video on my computer. Let's look, let's look. Amberlyn Raya. Oh my goodness, guys. I never changed the thumbnail. I'm so mad. We just went the whole live stream and I never changed the thumbnail. I'm going to change it right now. <laughs> wow. I'm so angry. Okay, we changed it. I'm so sad. That means we had an old thumbnail the whole time. What if people thought it was an old live stream? Right, you clicked the live stream and I had a different haircut, right? Right, right. Who wants to be Amber's new caretaker? Any takers? What if you get a good salary? Where's my thumbnail? Remember when um, Foodie had to like work for Natter for free? So she basically built up his whole channel. She edited. Remember, she wouldn't even do her own videos. Like this woman, people at that time were begging for a video from her begging she wouldn't do one but she would put out a video for natter every single day edited edited more than her own videos she would make him a thumbnail if he didn't like it she would make him another thumbnail it was pathetic Trying to find the right, okay. It's going to be before that. What is it? Sunday, September 10th. I believe this was ALR's, like, she got her shit together for, like, a week. That's where we're at. <laughs> so it should say four years ago, right? Complaining. What's this one from? So that is September 18th. We're close, guys. We're close. No way. When was this one? September 15th. We just fucked up our audio. I really hope that this actually works. Okay, so if you guys remember... I can't hear it. Fuck. In video, I was oh, supposed crud, to guys. We might just have to call it a night because I just messed up my audio. I don't think it's going to work again. Let me try putting in the other one. Get some... Okay, good. It works. What day is this? September 15th. September 15th. Um, so almost one year ago, she was eating the chicken, guys. It was the chicken video. But we're not quite there yet. Highly requested weigh-in. That was the 12th. Boxy charm and birch box. That's stupid. That's September 10th. Well, let's watch September 11th. Because I'm not watching Boxy Charm. Okay, are Becky and I compatible? 
this day in 2019 are Becky and I compatible? We found it, guys. Here's a re-upload. Should we just watch the <laughs> Not even on Amber's channel. No, I kind of want to see the comments. Why can't I see it? You had a dream last night. We were friends IRL and you came to visit and we played a dancing game. Like, just dance. I prefer singing games. You know what I mean? <laughs> okay, here it is. This day in 2019. I should get it ready before the live stream next time, huh? Oh, shit. I can't hear it. Ah! I can't hear it, guys. Damn it. Let's try this. Okay. Hey guys. There's our girls. OMG. Do you guys miss that iconic intro? I can't. I, I really just like can't. Oh my goodness. Look at those thumbs down. 3.5 thumbs down. I mean, 3.5K thumbs down, 946 thumbs up. It is the content cop. So I figured Becky and I can do a compatibility test to see if we're compatible. Com compatible? Compatible. That sounds like a- Is this the one where she says your, 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 your priorities? Really weird word. <laughs> it is a really weird word. When you say it out loud. Compatible. I don't know. So I just want to like say firsthand that even if this says we're not. So what? It's a test. Yeah. Obviously they weren't in the end. They weren't even at that time. Look at Becky with the good hair though. And opposites attract. So. And we're quite the opposite. We are. So there's. I'm actually really digging that hair on Becky. What do you guys think? going to actually be 10 questions okay and it's going to be a multiple choice situation but we have to agree on the answer obviously okay is this right before the breakup no this is this is today in 2019 they didn't break up till 2021 they would go on to get engaged after this oh man okay so question number one is as a couple would you say that you you share a common vision for your future a no not really b not at the moment we'll just see what happens c mostly yes but we don't have it all plotted out or d yes we frequently talk frequently talk about our future goals together i would go with b not at the moment we'll just see what happens yeah i'm kind of more like the no not really section yeah because i would love to like venture out and like live in another state that's true but she's not really in it to win it but then, then again, that could be something I could persuade you into. <laughs> I'm pretty happy. Even if it's just for like a couple years. Amber would always like shame Becky or like push her to leave Kentucky. But she never wanted to. And in the end, that was one of the reasons they did break up or part ways. Genesis J, thank you for being a member for 11 months. Look at baby Becky. I miss her. Yes, living. I tried that. It was miserable. I don't know then. We'll see. She was miserable living in a different state. All right. I'm just going to choose B because that's the truth. You never know what's going to happen. Yeah, you so. never know. Persuade, manipulate, you know, there's a fine line between the two. Next question is, if someone asked you how compatible you were as a couple, what would you say? A, we're just rubbing along. 
What? Rubbing. We're just rubbing along. I guess I don't tend to give it much thought. B, we don't have that much in common, but we're okay for now. C, our relationship isn't perfect, but we are strong as a couple. D, we see ourselves as very connected and we are on the same page about the things that are most important to us. C. You think C? What kind of clout chaser is signing up to be her next caretaker? Do you think that's what it is? But it's interesting that like wifey was definitely not clout chasing because not once did she share a social media link. Not once did she show her face. Yeah. You think we're a strong couple? Yeah. I think we're we muscle good. strong, heart. So what was wifey in it for? Strong, mind strong, heart strong. Definitely. It was just a job. Yeah. 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 Okay. See, I feel like even in the answers, we want to say something different. And Becky didn't really clout chase either. I mean, she didn't start her channel until after they broke up. Okay, so what is your answer? We don't have much in common, but we're okay for now. <laughs> well, no, that's that's very true too, though. The one person that did clout chase off of her was probably just Eric Cook, right? <laughs> Eric Cook was clout chasing. Yeah, like we have, like this is how it is for Becky and I. We have this group of things that we do have in common that we do together and we hold that common interest but then you there's talk also with your hands a lot i've noticed that when i edit yeah okay <clears throat> i'll stop <laughs> but <laughs> yeah i wonder why wifey like do you think wifey put in like a two weeks notice when they broke up or like before they broke up she put in her little two weeks notice this is bringing it to your attention. <laughs> no, you're good, because that's something I hate. But then we also have a group of things that we don't have in common. But, I'm a, again, I'm going to agree with you because our relationship isn't perfect, but I feel like we're strong. Question three, how do your political views match those of your partner? A, it's like day and night. We avoid talking politics. What happened to Destiny? She, like, completely blew off YouTube now. B, we scream our differing points of view at each other. Remember, Destiny was supposed to be a vlog channel. All she did was come on, expose Amber and dip. And she said specifically, I'm not going to come on here, just expose Amber and that's it. I'm just coming on here for money to expose Amber and leave. No, I want to be a YouTuber. I want to be a vlog channel. Well, look what you did. Not like I didn't enjoy it, but still. See, on a few things we match, but a lot of the time we have to agree to differ. Right, Amber has no political views. Amber admitted that she never voted. Ever. Ever. It's hard to take someone seriously when they've never voted. At least when they're talking about politics, you know what I mean? D, we have a lot of similar views and have learned to respect each other's viewpoint when we disagree. D, I would go with D. Like, we don't agree with it literally Everything. We agree with 99%. Yeah, 99%. There's like a 1% where we're both like, mm, I don't know. Yeah, which I feel like political things, like if you're with someone who completely is like completely different, than different, you. then it's... That's uh, rough. Yeah. Have you guys been with someone that you're like completely different politically? Because some people are super strong opinionated. I and dated I feel like someone we are. one time who was very opposite in how I felt. It was... And how was that? It's hard, right? It was so annoying. <laughs> so, yeah. Would they just like fight and it was annoying? I'm gonna go with D too. There's certain people where I just like don't bring up that kind of stuff because like you're not gonna change their mind. It's just gonna be like annoying. You know what I mean? Question four. When it comes to religion, <laughs> are there oh, we're going in religion, politics. Bring it on. <laughs> are any points of contention? A, we don't really talk about religion as we know it'll cause an argument. B, we can never agree on this and argue all the time. What is Amber agnostic, she's always said? C, we do differ in some ways, but we try to make it work. D, we have very similar ideas and have worked to understand any differences. None of those apply, I feel like. Exactly, because I am not overly religious, but I do believe in God and Jesus. And it's like, you know, I have my own personal, you know, relationship with God. And this one over here... Agnostic. Yeah. So... So she respects very, me, and I yeah. respect her. We don't cl clash when it comes to yeah. We don't the even argue. Thing. No, completely different opinions, but we don't argue about it because that's something so personal to me. It's so different from a political. Like it's so different. Like if we were to disagree on something political, I feel like that's more so like up for an argument because I feel like that's 
what do they say? Like when you're at work, like don't bring up religion or politics, religion and politics. Like don't bring that up when you're at work. <laughs> more opinionated versus religion and stuff is more. Right. Nobody cares about Amber's worldviews. I know. I just have to like roll my eyes whenever she starts to talk about anything even like remotely related to that like in your heart and soul of things and you can never judge someone on that and like tell them that they're wrong for right. what they believe in so but if i had to choose i'd go with cnd diaz we have similar ideas we do no oh wait no we know okay, this, <laughs> is <spot out. laughs> this is the political one where i am i, I would go see b is we can never agree on this and we argue all the time but we don't it's interesting to see becky and higher spirits in this video because like just months after this i believe was when she was like really down bad <laughs> that's so true but a is we don't really talk about religion as we know it'll cause an argument but also at this time she wasn't doing very good either because amber was practically bed bound this was like the summer of 2019 her 100 days of trolling um this is definitely towards the tail end do you want to just say A? Because we don't really talk about it. But I mean, when we do, we don't argue. So we don't argue. We just, you know, we disagree. We agree to disagree. So let's just do A. Okay. That one's hard. Okay. So question five. How do you spend your spare time as a couple? A. We don't really spend much of our free time together. B. We argue a lot about not spending enough of our spare time. Yeah. Can Chantal and Salah do the quiz? <clears throat> I can't even, like, imagine. Imagine Chantal talking about politics or world happenings. I mean, she already dipped her toe into like, you know, the pumped up kick situation. And that was absolutely horrifying. So I can't imagine. <laughs> together. I don't know why that made me laugh. C, we tend to pursue our hobbies separately, which works for us. Or D, we have a nice balance between shared interests and separate hobbies. Yeah, Be <laughs> Becky, bring the bucket. I want to hear her say priorities. And then we should flip through the chicken mukbang. D. Holy for crap, sure. D's for sure. That's perfect. Question six. When it comes to finances, how does your attitude differ to that of your partner? A, we don't bother talking about money. B, we have pretty different attitudes when it comes to money, which tends to cause arguments. C, we prefer to keep our finances separate so that we are responsible for our own money decisions. D, we tend to... This is kind of boring. Okay, so seven minutes is where we started off. I want to hear her say priorities. Do you think that's the most replayed moment? It's this understanding that stops you from taking each other for granted. You acknowledge that just being on the same page isn't enough. You've learned that in order to go to the distance, you have to maintain connection, communication, and compassion. It's so true. You invest in this as a couple and regularly work on it, and this keeps your relationship healthy. So does that mean we're compatible? I believe so. Wow. I thought big. <laughs> you got a lot of Damn editing to do. It. Question nine. How close are you when it comes to intimacy? This is a little ooh. TMI. Ooh, ooh. All right, let's... Let's go back to where we were. Decisions together. It's like varied between a couple, I feel like. Yeah. Like, I feel like we have different opinions on things when it comes to money, but I also feel like we're also D, where we agree on stuff. We always... Amber's the one that like held the purse strings and she would hold the money over Becky's head to be manipulative, even though she told her to quit her job. We make discussions together. Yeah, we always make decisions together. So do you want to just go with D? Yeah. yeah, that makes more sense. Question... Thank you, 420 lover, for the super chat. Here's a thanks for all the content lately. My now ex-BF cheated and yelled at me. So all this content is helping me keep from burning all his stuff and him. Thank you for 20 lover. I'm sorry that all that happened to you, girl. But I'm happy I can at least distract you for a little bit. Thank you for stopping in. Question seven. As a couple, would you say that you regularly... Sh regu reg re regularly. I feel like I'm rapping. Re 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 a DJ of some sort. Let me read. You can tell that this is like a friend... Aren't you guys getting like friendship chemistry? Do that. As a couple, would you say that you regularly share a laugh together? A, not really. We don't have similar sense of humor. B, our humor jars with one another. We actually often end up rowing instead of laughing. <laughs> what? I don't know. C, we do have a giggle together sometimes, but like similar, similar comedy shows. D, we share a laugh most days and it makes us feel connected. What would you say for that one? Because we do have a different sense of humor. <laughs> we definitely do. It's They're both weird, but they're like weird in their own ways. <laughs> Mine's more like, um references and like vines vines spongebob you know just reference and mine's more like off 90s the wall like how'd you come up with that and i feel like it goes over your head sometimes it does but so do your quotes and your references and your yeah because... no amber's is like copied off of trisha paytas or like other youtubers if i quote something and I'll, she'll just not That's get it and i'm like are you kidding me yeah so what would you say for that one i don't know i guess 
see we do have a giggle together but but we also like similar similar comedy because there are things that we do you know yeah you know, it's not like we sit around laughing our asses off together because no. again do you guys like like really dumb romantic comedies i don't know what it is but some of that stuff i just don't even like it at all i think it's just stupid and we have different comedy things yeah but i mean then again it's like you know if we're gonna watch something together we usually can't agree on a comedy movie yeah or a comedy show you know I want to see, yeah, who's the new girl? Who's the new boo? We're going to be shocked. We're going to be absolutely shocked. What if it's not shocking at all? What if it's exactly what we thought? I do hope, though, like, if this is another wifey situation where she's not on camera at all, I'm going to be so done. You know, like, we could watch Family Guy, and we're both satisfied with it, you know? Yeah, and, like, we both love Adam Sandler, and to me, like, that weird. he's satisfied. <laughs> right? She always thought that she was, like, intellectually superior to Becky, Mostly because Becky lived in Kentucky and Amber was from like California. But <laughs> our girl isn't exactly known as the most educated woman, like Young Dumb Honey Bun, you know? <laughs> I'm an educated woman. <laughs> we both love Adam Sandler, and I feel like, yeah. why did I get loud? <laughs> did you hear? You had to make that statement. <laughs> Because to me, he's one of my most, like, one of my favorite, like, comedy dudes. Like, he's... Adam Sandler, really? Maybe back in the 90s, early 2000s. Like, come on. And a lot of his stuff, actually, he doesn't even have... <laughs> Did you guys ever see Pixels? Why can't I talk today? He doesn't have scripted. He goes off the whim. What do you call that? Um, What's it called again? Hold on. Oh, my God. I know this. It's not freestyle. No. Why is there a nap in this? It, yeah, yeah, yeah. I love that he can do that, so. So yeah, we're gonna go with, we do have a giggle together, but like similar comedies and like similar, similar comedies. Okay, so question eight. During the holiday season, how easy is it for you to decide whose family to spend Christmas with? A, we tend to split up and visit our own families. Clearly just Becky. B, we often can't agree and it causes massive rows. C, we tend to spend the holiday season away from our families as it makes life easier. D. The truth of the matter is they would go to Becky's, but Amber would try to get her to stay at home and just be with her. We've always planned ahead in order to, we always plan ahead in order to mm. head off conflict and take it in turns. That's true. Wifey disappeared after Amber told the hooking up story. We mostly go to my family's. Um, we'll spend time there and then we always come home and we spend time together and with Eric and Ricky. So, so go with D. Kinda... I say go with D because we always plan ahead in order to avoid conflict, even though there wouldn't be any anyways. Question. Right, we don't even hear Feline's voice or see her hands anymore. Nine, how close are you when it comes to intimacy? This is a little Ooh. TMI right now. Ooh, this is the one I wanted to hear. Let's see if they lie. That is some TMI. A, we just have mechanical. <laughs> That's sad. Mechanical. Oh That's when you know I feel like it's time to just like be yeah. out. That's sad. Um, we have mechanical. I don't feel like saying the word because I might like do this whole like demonetized situation. We don't want that. B, we are pretty. Remember when she would say better than S-E-X mascara like we were in kindergarten? Passionate. It's the one area that's always been good. That. C, we like to hold hands and have a cuddle. D, intimacy is important to both of us and we've always made time to be close. So we know post breakup that they like never, they never did it. Like the last two years of the relationship was completely dry. Um, I'm gonna go with B. We are pretty passionate. Yeah. It's the one area that's always been good. Yeah. Such a lie. I mean, you know, it's part of if you're compatible. So true, true, true. Okay. Look at Amber just like going along with it for the video, but it feels like she knows in her facial expression right there. You can tell she knows that's not the truth. But let me just go along with it for the video. Rose Gold 1313. Thank you for the super chat. Welcome. Welcome. Okay. Question 10. When it comes to talking about raising a family, how similar are your ideas? A, we just muddle along. Some of the words I use this point. B, it's a real bone of contention as we differ about most things. C, we realize that we have, a real bone. have to compromise. D, we share similar values and beliefs about parenting and maintain a regular dialogue to ensure we stay on the same page. Can you imagine if there was a child in that house during 2019? I don't know. We don't agree on how to parent a child. I know we're probably not going to have a child. They don't agree on how to parent a child. That's an interesting one. Thank God they didn't have one. There's no way anyone would approve her for adoption. But we disagree on how to parent a child. Yes. I'm more of like a, um, you're more of just like a talk to. Yeah, like if they do something wrong, I want to take away the things that they love. Yeah. Send them to their room and you have time to reflect. Maybe write me an essay. Wait, and so Becky's getting out the belt? Is that what she's saying? Say on what you did wrong. Write an essay. No. Heck I'm, yeah. So I'm going to say B. It's a real bone. Of <gasps> she cut that out. Becky, I bet you Becky said, like, I'm getting the belt. Listen, listen. 
room and you she have cut to reflect. Maybe write me an essay on what you did wrong. Write an essay. No. Heck I'm, yeah. So I'm going to say B. It's a real bone of contention as we differ about most things. She knew that what she said at that point would get backlash in the comment section. So she cut it out when it comes to raising someone. Yeah. Interesting. Um, but regarding everything else, we agree. Like, we're not sure if we want kids. I feel like I'm more strict. Yeah, that's literally just the, the logistics of it. Because even I'm when it comes... To, I mean, smart. so am I, though, but, like, in a different way. Yeah. Because, like, when it comes to Twinkie, I'm very protective. Rady and Wasabi, like, sorry. It's kind of weird to hear that from Becky because, like, the way that she was raised and, like, the ultimatum that her mother gave her, like, you can't be gay if you want to live here, you know? You would think she would, like, loosen the reins a bit. Like, that's... I become one of those moms that are like, oh, so you're, you just kiss my baby on the face? I wonder if they get sick. Like, I feel like that's going to be me. She's definitely more, like, strict, and I'm more like, oh, it's okay. We're a little yeah, accident. Yeah, little... Oh, Becky's going to be the dad. Laid back than me, and I'm just like, mm, I'm no, very, no, very. That was deliberate. Yeah, so I'm just going to go with B on that one. So now we're done, so I guess we process it. It wants to make sure I'm not a robot, so hold so on. She's all the pictures with palm trees. You answered D in the personality quiz four times. I guess the priorities thing isn't even in this video, is it? Okay. I feel duped. What does that mean? You have similar beliefs and values about the important things in your lives, from family and friendships to managing money. This has enabled you to create a strong and secure relationship. We have to watch like a touch of the chicken video then. However, there's always a however. It's iconic. You both understand that your relationship needs constant and consistent nurturing. It's this understanding that stops you from taking each other for granted. You acknowledge that just being on the same page isn't enough. Your priorities? Enough. You've learned that in order to go to the distance, you have to maintain connection, communication, and compassion. It's so true. You invest in this as a couple and regularly work on it, and this keeps your relationship healthy. So does that mean we're compatible? I believe so. Wow. I thought babe. <laughs> that keeps this relationship healthy. This is like the fakest video ever. You got a lot of editing to do. The kiss. I do. I have a lot of editing to do. <laughs> Do you think Becky said, like, edit that out, edit that out, edit that out, edit that out? That's gonna be fun. So we hope you guys enjoyed this video. We thought it would be fun, I guess. I don't it was know. fun. I had fun. Really? Yeah. It was interesting to see, like, I how we truly felt about, house. you know, certain things in our relationship. Relationship. And we were, you know, it's kind of, like, I felt kind of vulnerable because that's, like, personal things. Yeah. Now thousands and thousands of people are gonna be hearing such things. Such things, yes. I've always been... Thousands and thousands. The public perception on the video is not that great. Sort of a personal person, anyway. Wow, personal person. Yeah, but Becky thought this would be fun for video. Yeah. Because I gave her the idea, and she was like, "Oh, that doesn't." Yeah, sound fun. I was... Okay, let's watch the chicken mukbang. Probably not the whole thing, but this week in 2019, she ate a whole chicken. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So, what's the date on this thing? So September 15th, yeah, so this is this week in 2019. Amberlynn mukbanged an entire rotisserie chicken. When this video came out, like, it shook Girl World. Wow, she got 300,000 views on this, guys. It just shows that YouTube rewards bad behavior. <laughs> Damn. This shit was the talk of the town. I wonder why she doesn't do this kind of stuff anymore. <laughs> hey guys, so I know the video you guys got from me yesterday was a move bong. I figured we'd do another. So this is just rotisserie chicken. She just decided to sit down and do all these mukbangs back to back to back because... This was right after the whole GoFundMe situation, right? And people were getting on her and Becky. And so her idea was, well, let's forget about that. And let's focus on me just eating copious amount of calories. People will talk about this. And in a way, it works. It's a distraction technique. It was kind of smart, if you think about it. So I'm just going to dive right in. I saw other mukbangers eat... By the way, wings are my favorite part, so I'm gonna start with that. Other YouTubers did it. I saw other mukbangers um, do this. And I was like, oh my god, that looks so good. I don't know what it is about this video, but... <laughs> um, <laughs> it's iconic. <laughs> Rotisserie chicken is one of my favorites ever.
Do you guys remember when this came out? It was insane. I'm so weird. I love this part. There's just so much flavor in it. <laughs> Everyone I know is like, why do you eat that part? Mm. All right, I'm not going to watch this whole thing, guys. But let's watch the most replayed section, see what that is. That's all going on, all. I gotta go to bed. Mm. What cereal is that? I love that Who moment. Who are you? Why is this the most replayed? Amber Why likes that. Right now? She likes that dark. Usually meat. not a fan. Usually not. Girl, isn't it funny that like meat is? She's afraid of meat, and yet here she has a whole rotisserie chicken. There's a gnat in this house. I talked about it in yesterday's video. That she hates dark meat, but here she is eating the dark meat part. He's <laughs> obsessed with us. We got it. He moved. See, he's right. He's right around. He's a rat. She has to force herself to eat pizza, and yet she has three slices. <laughs> it never makes any sense. <laughs> they gave me an entire chicken, even though I asked for an apple. They gave me two chips, although I asked for an apple, but that's okay. I am being dehumanized. Around, he moved in. It's our new roommate. He moved in. It's been at least two weeks now. I think he's using us for the fruits on our counter. <laughs> the gnat. Yeah, the fly is a he. Everything's usually a she, but the fly is a he. Hmm. I can't stand it when people use me, but this gnat, we're all thinking about kicking him out because he's annoying. He's always all up in your face. You never get alone time. It's the worst kind of roommate. What do you think Eric and Ricky like thought about this when they came home and just saw her sitting in front of a camera eating an entire rotisserie chicken? <laughs> Is this current or retro? Do you really think this is current, girl? Like, can you imagine? She should. She should get a rotisserie chicken and do it all over again. I have one last surprise for you guys. Oh, goodness. Okay, one last surprise. This is really good. <laughs> 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 that good, Amber? I probably couldn't eat. All of this, though. <laughs> Whoa. Mm. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Yay. Yay. I like the bacon on it. Because <laughs> it more bacon, adds please. That, like salt. Gotta get that sodium in. You know what I'm saying? So we're gonna add another piece. <laughs> oh my god. LMAO. All right, guys, I hate to leave you on that moment, but <laughs> thank you everyone so much for coming out to tonight's live stream. It's been fun. It's been fun. But 
Um, it's been fun. It's been fun. But I got to go ahead and get some sleep. So I will catch you guys very soon with a new video. Don't you fret. Don't you fret. Everyone have a great Monday. I hope everything goes smoothly for you guys if you're going back to work. And good night, everyone.